Hey everybody, Rising Storm here. So I'm going to be doing all signs, you and the person that you're dealing with um, for the month of October, okay? So keep in mind, my daughter is here today. She didn't go to school. So if you hear any noise in the background, that's just her being a toddler. <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to be starting off with Aries and I'm gonna work my way down, all the way down through Pisces, okay? So what's going on with Aries and the person that Aries is dealing with for October? What can you tell me here? What is going on with the zodiac sign of Aries and the person that you're dealing with here? What can you tell me? What is going on with Aries, please? For the... Uh, for October. <laughs> What's going on with Aries and the person that Aries is dealing with, please? What is going on with Aries? Alright. So, the overall view, Aries, you got the three of pentacles. Okay, we're dealing with the earth sign. doesn't have to be... But we'll see what this is. So it's like you're holding back even though you, you haven't fully... Oh, man. So it's like you're holding back even though you haven't really fully moved on towards this person. We'll see what's going on, okay? Why is what happened with the King of Wands? All right. So clarify this Three of Pentacles. Clarify this Three of Pentacles, please. Show me this Three of Pentacles for the overall view. So there's this energy of wanting to come together or at least be on the same page. But at the same time, there's this energy of someone dropping this or letting this go. So at least there's this energy here of coming together or at least wanting to come together. You know, wanting to be more cordial with one another. But there's this energy of letting this go or dropping it. At least that's the overall. You could, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Leo. I got Aquarius here, fire sign. So show me, clarify the strength in reverse. Show me the strength in reverse, please. So it's like you're holding back right now. Why is that strength in reverse there? I feel like you're holding back the fact that you are wanting to communicate with this person. I feel like you're still very much attracted to this person. Um, you're still very much passionate about them. I feel like there's... You're wanting to communicate with them, but it's like you're holding back. But at the same time, it's like you can't fully let go of this or you have a hard time letting go of this connection. Why the death in reverse there? Why the death in reverse? There could have been a third party for some of you. So it's like there's this energy of you having a hard time fully letting this die or fully letting this go. But at the same time, it's like you're keeping your, your distance towards this person even though you do want to communicate with them. So it's like you're being... You're being emotionally distant when it comes to this person even though there's this energy of you not wanting to i don't know man that's what it's saying your person has the knight of cups in reverse with the star card in reverse what is this knight of cups in reverse about what is this knight of cups in reverse about so whoever this is this is someone who's choosing basically right now to close off towards you right for for now they're being emotionally unavailable um, they're choosing, this is someone, they're coming across as if they're happy that they're not dealing with this or they're doing their own thing or they're coming across as if everything is okay or their wish fulfillment is to basically close off from you or not feed this connection emotionally. But at the same time, they got the star in reverse there. So it's like, but, but then another part of them definitely feels like there's, they're losing hope and faith in the connection. Show me the star in reverse. Show me the star in reverse for. And the nine of pentacles. So it's like this person's acting like it, like they don't care or they're acting like they're fine without you or they're fine without the connection here. I see this person being very single or independent or, you know, being single. But at the same time, I feel like a part of them is losing hope and faith or they're not as optimistic about this connection like they once, like they once were or once did. So it's, why is it all happening? The King of Wands. So clarify this King of Wands. What is this King of Wands about? What is this King of Wands about? Clarify this King of Wands. Yeah, and the Two of Swords. Somebody here could be ignoring trying to communicate with you. You could be ignoring trying to communicate with them. It's kind of somebody here is trying to push this to the side, acting like it's not bothering them. In, but in reality, I do feel like there's still passion here on someone's part. Um, how does Aries see this person? How does Aries see this person? 
see them as the Empress in reverse, you could be doing with the Libra. Clarify the Empress in reverse. And the hangman in reverse. So it's like you see this person as someone who's basically given up on the connection. You see them as someone who's really not feeding it. Or who's someone who's truly trying not to make things grow or nurture the connection with you right now. It's like you see this person as someone that you really can't get things off the ground with. Or, or have a decent connection in regards to nurturing or growing. You, you see this person as someone who's kind of given up. A lack of, like things are just really stagnant right now. This is someone who's not really putting any attention or uh, any action when it comes to you. Show me that. Show me the strength card in reverse on Aries' side. Show me the strength card in reverse on the Aries' side. I feel like a part of you definitely does want to reconcile with this person. But it's like you're holding that back or you're holding the urge back. But at the same time, you can't, it's like you, you have a hard time fully detaching yourself energetically when it comes to this, but you're choosing to be emotionally distant. How does this person see Aries? How does this person see Aries? They see you as the high, you see, they see you as a high priestess. Clarify the high priestess right now, please. And the queen of swords, they see you as someone who's being very silent right now at this time. <clears throat> They see you as someone who could still possibly be upset, so they know that maybe you're upset with them uh, somehow, some way. For some of you, they see you as someone who's cut them off at some point in time, okay, with us, the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess there. But it's like they see you as someone right now who's giving the silent treatment or is not really speaking up, someone who may be still very much upset about whatever it is that happened between the two of you. What actions will Aries be taking next towards this person? What can you tell me? What actions will Aries be taking next towards this person? The judgment in reverse. Why the judgment in reverse for? Clarify the judgment in reverse. So it's like one minute you're not wanting to repeat this again. One minute it's like you're throwing your 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 throw in the towel you're 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 giving up you're not wanting to repeat this but then the next minute it's kind of like you still want to come back around towards this person so i don't know if you um for some of you you may have um I, I, i'm seeing you either in the past maybe try to come back around to this person at some point in time here or it's like you're a part of you is not wanting to repeat this again, but then another part of you is wanting to come back around. Why the six of swords in reverse? The five of cups and the eight of pentacles. I feel like I feel like secretly you're wanting to come back around to this person, or at least put try to put the work in or make things work between the two of you. But ultimately, I kind of feel like there's a little bit of a struggle here with with your actions towards this person. Because it's like one minute you're giving up, you're not you're not wanting to do this, the next minute you, you want to come back around. But other than that, other than that, I don't, I, I feel like you're having a little bit of a hard time releasing this person. But other than that, I really don't see much action being taken. For some of you, I do see you trying to return to this person or wanting to come back around, but not making that decision to do so. Um, how does this person see Aries? What can you tell me? How does this person over here see Aries? I no 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 the actions. I did that already. Give me their next actions with the zodiac sign of Aries. What are their next actions if not yet already? What are their next actions if not yet already? The ten of wands in reverse. Clarify the ten of wands in reverse. And the Emperor card. So they're going to be in this energy of acting like they're dropping you or acting like they're taking control of the situation. Right? So their next actions here is kind of like dropping this connection. Or they're going to be dropping this. Why the Ten of Wands in reverse? King, they're, they're, they're going to be very closed off emotionally. So whoever this is, I feel like they're gonna they're just gonna be trying to kinda like close this out or drop whatever burden, take control of the situation, possibly move on, close off emotionally. I don't know what this is trying to say. Okay. Um 
What are Aries' true intentions with this person? What can you tell me? What are Aries' true intentions with this person? The Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups. So it's like your intention is to basically close off and walk away from this person. This individual here. So it's kind of like your intentions is to kind of just give up, walk away, kind of shut down emotionally, act very cold, very detached towards them. So it's like I'm seeing you, you're this energy of walking away from them or acting, giving them the cold shoulder, kind of like not opening up. Uh, what's the possible outcome for now until the end of October? What's the possible outcome for now until the end of October, please? That's too many. What's the possible outcome for now until the end of October for this for um, Aries and that they're dealing with, please? The Temperance in reverse. What's what's the possible outcome here? The Ace of Cups in reverse. Why is all this? Why, well, yeah, Ten of Swords. Why is all this happening? All happening to the magician in reverse. Ugh. Clarify the temperance in reverse. I'm seeing somebody here basically turning their back from this connection. But at the same time, I feel like... How can I say this? It's like they're turning their back even though they are in their emotions and in their feelings about this. Okay, so it's kind of like, yeah, I gotta turn my back. But, like, I'm still in my feelings about this. But not showing it. Why is that Ace of Cups in reverse there? The Page of Wands in reverse. Show me the Ten of Swords in reverse. And the Five of Cups. I'm seeing you kind of like getting over this. Alright? there. I, I feel like you're going to be ending this. Because you couldn't just make this happen. You couldn't make it happen with this person. Show me the Magician in reverse for. And the Six of Wands. Yeah, things failed between the two of you. It wasn't successful. So, I, at, ultimately, I see you kind of just getting over this. And letting this go. Or letting this die. But I feel like... At first, it's going to be a little bit hard for you to turn your back when it comes to this person because that connection or whatever it is isn't there anymore. Or isn't how it used to be. You could be doing with someone younger. I got fire sign, water sign, earth. I got another Aries, Virgo. It could be any sign here, okay? All right. So, we are going to be doing... Taurus now. So what's going on with the zodiac sign of Taurus and the person Taurus is dealing with? What is going on with Taurus and the person that Taurus is dealing with, please? What's going on here? What is going on with the zodiac sign of Taurus and the person that they're dealing with for October? What's going on for Taurus for the person that they're dealing with for October? Okay. So, Taurus, you have the Two of Cups in reverse, okay? Share it. Somebody here is just non-committal. Uh, what is this Two of Cups in reverse? Show me this Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so right now there was some sort of falling out, disconnection, something happened between the two of you that kind of like separated you two. And it's like right now no one's really putting in the work or the effort or the energy into trying to make this work or try to get things off the ground here. You could be doing with the cancer, it doesn't have to be. But you got the chariot. Clarify the chariot. What is this chariot about? So, I think a part of you is definitely wanting... I, I do feel like there's distance here between the two of you. But there's something here that you're wanting to change with this person or have things change. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in the chariot there? Why the Wheel of Fortune in the chariot? But at the same time, it's like you're not fighting for it right now. You're not fighting for it. But there's something here that you're wanting something to change with this person. Or at least move forward with. Clarify this Queen of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Wands. You see, wow, so this is someone you definitely see everything with. This is someone that you see it all with. Like, you see the family, the house, the picket fence. You're very much attracted to this person. You're wanting the dynamic to change between the two of you or things to move forward in your favor here. But, like, but at the same time, it just, there... I don't feel like there's any action being taken right now with this person. 
Um, your person has the Hierophant and Reverse could be dealing with another Taurus. It doesn't have to be. But this is someone who tends to be non-committal or has problems with commitment. Or in general, just doesn't want to be committed with a Hierophant and Reverse there. It kind of feels like it's their, their way or the highway. They got the Two of Pentacles in Reverse. We'll see. Show me the Hierophant and Reverse. What is this Hierophant and Reverse about? What's the Hierophant and Reverse about? They tend to just hold back. This is someone who's holding back right now. Why the tower there? Why is that tower? There could have been some sort of tower moment between the two of you or something here came crashing down. <sighs> Clarify the higher tone one more time, please. So this is someone, even though they know that they are non-committal, okay, or they know that this is someone who has commit, they, they have commitment issues, or they don't just, they don't commit, but a part of them definitely is in their head about you, which is causing this tower, this tower energy that's happening in, in their energy. Why the three swords in reverse? I feel like this is someone who is not healthy <laughs> this is someone who's toxic or either this situation it's it's not um i feel like this is someone who's still very much attracted to you okay or they're very much wanting to hook up or still possibly mending things between the two of you all right to have to have this new start or have this passion here but at the same time it's like the, i don't know if they tend to push you away okay Somebody here could have severed ties with you, you could have severed ties with them, or they could have severed ties with you. But it's like, I feel like this is someone who's overthinking a lot of things here in regards to this connection. What in the hell? What is this Two of Pentacles in reverse? What's this Two of Pentacles in reverse about? But did they act like they're not interested at the same time? So whoever this is, it's kind of like they're in this energy of not being committed to you, not being committed to that, you know, to the idea or even having a relationship. But yet I, I do feel that they're in their head or they're overthinking about possibly coming together, three swords in reverse, to hope possibly reconcile or come together. I don't, this is someone who wants to have you, but doesn't want to be committed to you. And then they go from dropping you to acting like they're not interested. So, you know, whoever this is, even though they do feel a little burdened by the situation or they feel like things are, uh, they may energetically have a hard time cutting, you, you know, kind of like forgetting about you. But I, I think this is more on this person's selfish needs than anything. It's like, you know... They want to reconcile, but I don't feel like it's for the good reason. It's for it's for a good reason here, okay? Because they're coming across as if they're the ones dropping you. They go from thinking about you or wanting to reconcile only for their benefit to going back to like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna drop this and I'm I'm not gonna be I'm oh I don't care or I'm not interested. Why is all happening? The two of swords. Why is that two of swords there? Why are the two of swords here? Yeah, somebody here is definitely indecisive about giving this attention or... Somebody here is closed off or indecisive about having something successful with this person or attention being given or feeding this attention. What the hell? How, uh, how does Taurus see this person? How does Taurus see this person here? How does Taurus see this person? You see them at why the, you can be done with the Leo. Clarify the strength card. Clarify the strength card. You see this person as someone who disappointed you. So it's like you see this person as someone who's holding back, someone who disappointed you here. You see this person as someone that they, they didn't give you what you wanted at the end of the day. It just feels like you're more ready to have a relationship or have something stable or something long term and they're they're just kind of like playing the field or probably have like leading you on or 
obviously this like a uh, stringing you along or whatever the case may be but it's like you see this person as someone who disappointed you and they they're holding back right now um how does this person see um taurus please what can you tell me how does this person over here see taurus how do they see taurus they see you as the seven of wands why the seven of wands they may see you why is that seven of wands there why the seven of wands here they see you as someone, it's kind of like they know that you are wanting to have something stable. They know that you're wanting to have a relationship. I don't know if you express that to this person or not here, but it's like they see you as someone that they know that you would want a relationship here. They may see you as someone who's pushing them away, all right? Or they may view you as someone who's pushing them away after whatever it is that happened between the two of you. Why is this Knight of Swords here? It's like they see you as someone that they're just not, they don't have nothing to offer. They don't have anything to offer to the table. They see you as someone, they know that you would like a relationship. They see you as someone who potentially may be pushing this away because of whatever it is that happened. Okay? They also see you as someone that they would like to just rush in and communicate with. But at the same time, don't have anything to offer you with that Knight of Pentacles in reverse there. It's like they, they see you as someone that they're not making a decision on making a decision to have a relationship with. And why is that not Seven of Wands there? Why the Seven of Wands? They, like I said, they see you as someone that wants a relationship. They know that. But at the same time, it's kind of like, even though they do want to come in and rush in and communicate with you, this is someone who's just not willing to give you that commitment, or this is someone who either has other people. They see you as someone who right now may be kind of like emotionally withdrawn or being emotionally distant from them at this time too. Uh, what actions will Taurus be taking towards this person if not yet already? What actions will Taurus be taking towards this person, if not yet already? The Seven of Cups in reverse. Clarify the Seven of Cups in reverse. What are their actions, if not yet already? Clarify the Seven. It's like you realize you have to give up on this. I don't feel like you're going to be taking much action. Like... I think you realize that you, you're not going to get what you want out of the situation. You realize that you shouldn't just be putting that energy into this. And that you should just basically throw this away or throw this out or basically give up on this. So I don't see you taking much action. If anything, you, you, you're either maybe realizing that this is no good for you or you know that this is not what you want or you know that this is not how it's supposed to be. <sighs> oh boy. What actions will this person be taking towards Taurus, please? What can you tell me? What actions will this person be taking towards Taurus, if not yet already? The Magician? Why the Magician? Why the Magician card? And the Three of Wands. So, for some of you, this is someone who maybe comes towards you or makes you think that they could or there's a possibility of making something happen only for them to turn their back on this so i'm getting like this is someone who maybe could be manipulative as well okay or could be a little bit of a narcissist all right for some of you but it's like this is someone who makes believe that they want something with you and then next thing you know they just turn their back on this i don't know if that's the case it's what it's saying it's what it's saying here What are Taurus's intentions when it comes to this person? What can you tell me? What are Taurus's true intentions when it comes to this person? The Three of Swords in reverse. Why the Three of Swords in reverse? I feel like your true intentions here is to heal the connection between the two of you and have a relationship. Like, you genuinely feel like... That's, like... 
maybe at some point in time you felt like you wanted to heal the connection or to balance things out here to have a connection or have something of something of stability here but it's like you realize that, that that's not going to happen with this person don't touch this baby it's what it's saying what are this person's intentions with Taurus what can you tell me what are this person's intentions with Taurus what are their true intentions with Taurus King of Pentacles in reverse. Why the King of Pentacles in reverse for? And the Four of Swords. Their intentions with you is basically... This is someone who's just focused on themselves. Their intentions is on them and on them only. I see them kind of just focusing on themselves, being distant from you, okay? Or keeping, keeping a distance from you with that Four of Swords and the King of Pentacles there. So it's like their their intentions is all about themselves. They, they're not putting anybody else as a priority here. <sighs> Clarify, uh, actually, um, what's the possible outcome for this connection from now until the end of October? What's the possible outcome here for this connection from now until the end of October? The Page of Cups in reverse. What's the possible outcome here? Can you tell me? The Ace of Wands, what's the outcome here? And the Two of Wands in reverse, why is all this happening? The Empress in reverse, the lack of growth, expansion. I see somebody here being closed off emotionally. Why is that Page of Cups in reverse? Yeah. So I see somebody here being emotionally closed off, not apologizing, not no offers being had, things just basically being at a standstill. Clarify this Ace of Wands. I'm getting, I'm getting that this is someone who's going to be, why is that temperance in reverse there? Yeah, whoever this is, they're going to be back, okay? And this is someone who's very wishy-washy. This is someone who's only looking at, lo only looking to have a sexual relationship with you, a passion, a new start. Um, I do feel like this is someone who's going to be returning into your life to possibly start a new passion, a new beginning, but at the same time, this is someone who's very wishy-washy. You don't know where they stand, where they stand. Uh, a decision doesn't be a decision is not made when it comes to this person show me the two of wands in reverse yeah but I, f I feel like at the end of the day somebody here is not going to be making a decision when it comes to when it comes to this all right there's no decision being made i do feel like this person's going to try to come in try to come in with flirting flirting with you try to basically you know have sex or whatever the case may be but it's like with that temperance in reverse, this is someone who's wishy-washy. Or or they on, they're they very on and off. One minute this, the next minute that. One minute you're talking, the next minute you're not. One minute they want to do this, the next minute. I feel like at the end of the day, a decision's not going to be made. Why is that two of wands in reverse? Yeah. I feel like you're going to just be giving this person the cold shoulder. And you're just going to be looking at them in a very negative way. Okay, you may not even be budging when it comes to this person. Okay, but that's what I'm getting. You could be doing with the Sagittarius, a fixed sign, earth sign, air. Uh, I got Libra. It could be any sign here. Okay. So, yep, they're going to try to be back. So, Gemini, what's going on with Gemini and the person that Gemini is dealing with here? What is happening? What is going on with Gemini and the person that Gemini is dealing with, please? What is going on with Gemini and the person that Gemini is dealing with for October? What is going on with Gemini and the person that Gemini is dealing with for the month of October? Alright, so oh you got the overall is the devil card. You could be dealing with the Capricorn Gemini, but we'll see what's going on. You got the Hermit, the King of Swords in reverse, the Five of Oh man. The world. So clarify the devil card there. What is this devil about? Show me the devil card. Why is that there? Why the devil? Ugh. Why the devil to the seven of swords? Why the devil card to the seven of swords? And 
the Ace of Swords. We could be done with the Capricorn, but, um... Why the Devil card one more time? Whoever this is, the overall energy is that maybe there, there could be a little bit of... Uh, this person could be watching you from afar, or both of you could be watching one another from afar here, but I'm getting somebody here definitely in there, in... Somebody here, there's just, there's a toxic energy here with that devil card and temperance in reverse. Somebody here is having a hard time balancing their emotions or their feelings due to someone being deceptive here or it has to do with clearing up the air or some sort of truth or feeling left out in the cold. I don't know what the hell this is. You got the hermit card. So what is this hermit about? Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. So you're basically holding back from this person <coughs> whoever this is this is someone who th this is like a very uh toxic energy manipulative or whoever this is they're, they're very sneaky or they tend to be very deceptive it's like you're very withdrawn when it comes to this person are you keeping your distance you're holding back from this person on on purpose show me this king of swords in reverse you act what is this king of swords in reverse for So whoever this is, they're holding back. They're completely withdrawn. This is someone, who, but then again, they're 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 acting very cold and very detached, or they're giving you the cold shoulder. And at the same time, this is someone who's non-committal. What? But that King of Swords and the Ten Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone who tends to tell you half truths, or somebody here tends to lie. They hold back. They withdraw. They're non-committal. They have problems with commitment or they have problems with money. Ten of Pentacles in reverse there. What the hell? Show me this Five of Wands for the person that Gemini is dealing with. What is Five of Wands about? Show me the Five of Wands. This is someone who definitely wants... Wow, what? This is someone who wants to communicate or at least they're fighting the urge to communicate with you. It's like they're... Whoever this is, is someone who still... They have a lot of passion for you. They're kind of fighting right now, reaching out. Why is that five of wands there? Why are the five of wands? Show me. Why are the five of wands? Somebody here is kind of giving up, though. Why is that seven of wands there? Yeah, so somebody here is having a hard time moving on from this person or this connection here. It's kind of like... They're they're fighting the urge to communicate. They still want to communicate, but at the same time, it's like they're they know they should drop this or let this go. But at the same time, they haven't really really healed or moved on. And I feel like somebody here is definitely in their feelings about whatever it is that happened here. Bec why the justice card? Clarify the justice. Show me the justice. Clarify that justice card. What the hell? here definitely i feel like the person that you're dealing with whoever this is this is someone who still wants to put the energy and time and effort into this or at least have some sort of reconciliation or some sort of balance with this person whoever this is they're giving you the cold shoulder they're acting very cold and detached they're non-committal i don't see that this is someone who isn't this energy of wanting to be committed but at the same time it's like i do see whoever this is still wanting to balance things out or still wanting to get on the same page or still want to come together but at the same time it's like you know they know that they they should give up on this but they're having a hard time trying to detach or trying to let go of this connection why is what happening the world card so you guys close out a cycle show me the world show me the world card show me the world card yeah, and the judgment. It's all happening. It's all it's all happening due to possibly repeating this again or starting this over or having a new cycle, closing out of a cycle, potentially make ha potentially having some sort of a second chance or redo here. How uh, how does uh, how does Gemini see this person? Remember, you can take the roles and reverse them however you like. Okay. Oh, excuse me. 
Um, how does um, Gemini see this person? How does Gemini see this person? What can you tell me? How does Gemini see this person? You what? Why the Queen of Swords in reverse? Why the Queen of Swords in reverse? Oh. Why the Queen of Swords in reverse? So you see them as someone who who's cut somebody off. You see them as someone who's cut you off, or you see them as someone who's cut you off. So at some point in time, you they yeah blah blah blah. <laughs> I can't even talk. So they, Gemini, you see them as someone who's cut you off or severed ties with you and someone who's really not budging right now to reach out or someone who's not really coming towards you to communicate or anything like that. So it's like you see this person even though somebody, even though this person, even though they are non-committal and they're acting very cold and detached, you see this person as someone who's cutting you off. And, and... You see this person as someone who's not really budging to, to make a move or not really coming forward with anything. How does this person see Gemini? What can you tell me? How does this person over here see Gemini? How does this person over here see Gemini? So here's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Why the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for? And the nine of cups in reverse they see you as someone that they they didn't get what they wanted they see you as wish unfulfillment here okay nine of cups in reverse to the wheel of fortune they feel like things are stuck between the two with the two of you or things are not moving in the direction that they wanted to all right they they see you as someone that they didn't get their wish fulfillment at the end of the day so they see you as someone Gemini uh, or the person that Gemini is dealing with take it how it resonates but it's like they didn't get what they wanted at the end of the day and they see the situation as someone stuck stagnant not moving forward okay for some of you there could be this could be a karmic situation not not for all of you okay um what actions will Gemini be taking towards this person what can you tell me what actions will Gemini be taking if not yet already The Three of Cups in Reverse. Why the Three of Cups in Reverse? The Page of Pentacles in Reverse. I feel like they're just going to be silent, whoever this is. They're just going to be keeping to themselves. They're going to be emotionally withdrawn, if not yet already. Um, I don't see them putting that energy or, or time to try to at least communicate. So they're going to basically withdraw communication and basically withdraw themselves emotionally, if not yet already. So I don't see them chasing. I don't see them, if anything, I see them doing their own thing here. With that page of pentacles and the three of cups in reverse there. If you're dealing with someone younger, it doesn't have to be. So what are this what are what are this person's next actions towards Gemini? What can you tell me? What are this person's next actions towards Gemini? The ace of wands in reverse. Why the ace of wands in reverse for why? And the magician in reverse. I don't feel it. I don't it doesn't look like this person's gonna be doing anything. If anything but at the same time, it's kind of like I do see them having a hard time doing so or having a hard time kind of like keeping their hands to themselves or having a hard time trying to communicate with you. All right. But I don't feel like they're going to be taking much action without an ace. They, it's like they know they shouldn't feed this energy. They know that they shouldn't feed the monster or they know that they shouldn't deal with this type of person. Show me this ace of wands in reverse to the magician. Yeah, and the Six of Pentacles. I'm seeing this person definitely holding back or definitely not trying to reach out or have a new start here. It kind of looks like they're having a hard time doing so, though, too. So what are this person's... What are Gemini's true intentions with this person? What are Gemini's true intentions with this person? What can you tell me? The Seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Their true intentions is to keep their options open and focus on themselves. So it's like their true intentions is to basically keep their options open, not really come in with stability, not come in with any offers, basically just doing them. 
So they really don't have any uh, any serious intentions when it comes to you or having anything committed. Committed. If anything, it's like their intentions is to keep their options open and focus on themselves. Like they're just they're just they just want to do them. That's what I'm getting here. Um, what true? What are what are this person's true intentions with Gemini? What are this person's true intentions with Gemini? Eight of Swords. Why the Eight of Swords? There are two. You know, this. It's kind of like their intentions is they want to be. They want to have some sort of relationship here or a relationship, but their intentions is to be more in their head, feeling stuck, right? So they're they're basically. I'm getting them being more in their head, feeling stuck about this connection or about. The fact that nothing's really getting off the ground or the fact that nothing is being stable or reciprocated there I don't see much action being taken from this person if anything I think they're just gonna be more in their head um, more than anything okay so what's the possible outcome for now until the end of October for this situ situation what can you tell me? What's the possible outcome for now until the end of October? The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Cups. And the Five of Swords. Why is all this happening? It's all happening due to the Six of Wands in reverse. Kind of, you know, situation feeling. Not giving attention to one another. Why is that Nine of Pentacles in reverse there? Two of Wands in reverse. What is this Knight of Cups in reverse? The Chariot in reverse. What is this Five of Swords in reverse for? I see this person coming back around only to leave you out in the cold again. Okay, I gotta be honest. So it's like you got the Two of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. There's this energy of not wanting to be single from this person, but at the same time, a decision not being made in regards to that. So it kind of like there's this energy of sitting there. You know, I do see you guys being emotionally closed off or distance between the two of you or a lack of forward movement. But then I do see a possible return only for them to leave you out in the cold out again. So it's like, why top five of swords in reverse? Yeah, the hangman. So I see a return only for things to be more stagnant, not think, nothing to get off the ground, for this person to just kind of ghost you again or leave you on the cold. Why is that five of pentacles there? The two of swords to only ignore you again. So what's the point? Why is that six of wands in reverse there? It's all happening due to things failing and having a new start again. But it's like they, they I do feel like there's this energy of not wanting to be single, things not moving forward, a lack of forward movement. But then it's like something happens where they come out of that period. They they come out. There's like maybe a communication or something. But then they withdraw again. Or, you know, or they ignore you. Or they just ghost you again. Ugh. That's what I'm getting here, okay? You can be dealing with a fire sign or earth sign. I got Leo here, Capricorn, whoever this is, this is someone, they're very sneaky, okay, and they're, they got some serious issues tied to them with that devil card there as well, it could be a sex, uh, it could be anything, whatever, okay, this is very unhealthy, but it could be any sign you're dealing with, okay, I got Aries, Earth, Fire, Air, any sign, okay. So we are on the zodiac sign of Cancer. What is going on with Cancer? Give me the zodiac sign of Cancer and the person Cancer is dealing with, please. What's what? What can you tell me? What is going on with Cancer and the person that Cancer is dealing with? What is going on with Cancer and the person that Cancer is dealing with for October? Alright, the Ten of Wands is the overall view here. Oh, okay. Moon in reverse, the King of Wands. Strength in reverse, the Two of Swords. Why is all happening? The Queen of Cups in reverse. What is this Ten of Wands about? What is this Ten of Wands about? Show me the Ten of Wands. 
Yeah, so there's this there's this energy of feeling burdened by the situation or weighing heavy, right? But at the same time, not a decision is being made. So it's kind of like there's this energy of things feeling heavy or you're feeling weighed down by this situation, but at the same time, not, no decisions being made or nothing's really happening right now. So like a stag a lot of stagnancy. You got the moon in reverse. You can be dealing with Pisces. It doesn't have to be here. Okay, so clarify the moon in reverse. Show me the moon in reverse. Yeah, the world card. Why is that king of wands there? Why the king of wands? So, why the moon in reverse for? Show me the moon in reverse. Clarify that moon in reverse there. Something here was revealed that led to somebody being cut off. Okay? And there was something here that... There was a cycle here where you either closed out with this person or individual all right i'm getting there was something here that was revealed at some point in time that lead you that led you to cut this person off so it's like you're you're still very pretty much upset about whatever it is that happened with this person why is that moon in reverse there show me one more time show me the moon one more time here Show me the moon in reverse. Oh. Clarify that moon in reverse. Oh. Yeah, but I feel like you're definitely, whatever it is that was known or whatever it is that, that came out, it kind of just made you cut this person off or kind of like made you focus on yourself even though you're having a hard time balancing your emotions and your feelings um, when it comes to them. So it's like you haven't really healed much when it comes to this person. It's not saying what was revealed though, but it's saying that you had to, uh, you had to cut this person out, right? But I feel like you're, st even though you're still doing what you're doing for yourself, I feel like you're still in your feelings when it comes to this person, or you still haven't fully healed. Okay, you got the King of Wands to the Justice in Reverse. I feel like a part of you is still very much passionate about this person, but whatever it is that that happened just wasn't unfair or not justified or just there's still this energy of feeling like things are not fair because I feel like at some point in time you still have passion for this person your person has a strength card in reverse to a sword so this is someone who's definitely holding back Sarah, can you please stop the strength card in reverse clarify the strength in reverse Show me the strength card in reverse, please. We're done with the Leo. And the devil in reverse. So whoever this is, this is someone who's holding back. They're they're coming across as if they're not as attached to this like they once were or once did. The Capricorn energy in reverse there. But at the same time, it's like this is someone who's very indecisive, very closed off. Why is that two of swords there? Why the two of swords? Clarify the two of swords. Clarify the Two of Swords, please. What is this Two of Swords about? They're indecisive when it comes to offering... They're, they're very close off when it comes to offering their emotions or their love or their cup here. So it's kind of like one minute they're very closed off they're they're holding back they're acting like it's not bothering them or they're not attached to this anymore and then they go from being very indecisive to offering you a cup or being very closed off why it's all happening the queen of cups in reverse it could be a third party situation here what is this queen of cups in reverse about what is this queen of cups in reverse about The Queen of Cups, okay, so I'm getting like this energy of, well, you know what, I'm happy, or I'm happy being closed off emotionally, or the fact that I'm closing off emotionally is a wish fulfillment, or, you know, this is exactly what I want, right, for you to basically close off and not deal with this person, it's what it's saying, at least that's, you know, why it's all happening,
so it's kind of like this energy well you know a good riddance type of energy you know like uh, i'm fine without you i don't need you type of energy um all right let's see what's going on here so what are cancers how does cancer see this person what can you tell me how does cancer see this person what can you tell me here the judgment clarify the judgment card clarify the judgment so you see this person as someone um why is that judgment there i feel like you see this person as someone who may like attention all right or this is someone who likes attention from others, or at least you see this person as someone who likes attention from others. You see this person as someone who's dropping you. Or who's letting you go right now with that four of pentacles in reverse there. Why is that judgment there? You see... You see this person as someone who's making a decision to basically close off from you and focus on themselves. Someone not that you know, not really you know, putting the the energy in or the time in to even communicate with you. Why is that six of wands there? Yeah, you see this as someone who's very non-committal or has problems with commitments, or do you see it's like you see this person as someone who gets attention from everybody else or craves attention from everybody else there. It's like you came to that conclusion or how, like with that person. So how does this person see Gem uh, I mean Cancer? Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. How does this person over here see Cancer? What can you tell me? How do they see Cancer? They see you as the Six of Swords. Why the Six of Swords for? Clarify the Six of Swords. They see you as someone. Uh... <laughs> they see you as someone who's moving on. From them with that six of swords there they, they see you as someone who's moving on or distancing themselves from you right but they also see you as the five of wands in reverse so it's kind of like why is that why is that six of swords there why is that six of swords yeah why is that five of wands there <laughs> what the hell so it's like they see you as someone who's moving on from them right someone who's not coming together they feel like you could very well be still upset with them. Why the seven of swords are reverse? They see you as someone who's turning their back on this connection. So they feel like you're they they feel like whatever they they see you as someone who knows the truth or something that was revealed that, that was real that, that came out or that was known. They see you as someone who's turning their back on this connection, not communicating much or at all. Why is the five of wands in reverse? They see you as someone that maybe a part of them would like to reconcile with you, okay? Or like to start over only for them not to really put in the work or effort or really not to, you know, have that stability here. So it's like they see you as someone who's moving on from them. Or someone who's turning their back when it comes to this. I think they, this is someone who sees you as someone that they it's like they know they should move on but at the same time a part of them still hasn't let go or a part of them would like to come together or reconcile but they they can't make up their mind up i don't know what actions will cancer be taking if not yet already towards this person what next actions will cancer be taking if not yet already the fool card why the fool card why the fool I feel like you're still very why is that full card there to the nine of pentacles in reverse <clears throat> for some of you i see see your actions is one minute you talk to them the next minute you don't or there's one minute you speaking to them the next minute you don't the next minute you're dropping them but in regards to your actions it's kind of like why is that nine of pentacles in reverse there I feel like you should you feel like you need to walk away 
or your next actions is to walk away. Why the fool? I feel like you want a part of you is still looking to have a new beginning with this person or you're still maybe attached to them. For some of you it could be a codependency issue thing or whatever the case may be, but I feel like your next actions is to basically walk away from this person or not be this communication. I still feel like a part of you still I don't know if at some point in time you tried having a new beginning with this person or you tried doing something in regards to maybe coming together but it's like I see you walking away from this what are uh, this person's next moves towards cancer what are this person's next moves or actions towards cancer if not yet already The King of Pentacles in reverse. And the Five of Swords. Their next actions is to play more mind games with you. So basically not really come in with an offer of stability. They're they're focused on themselves. I'm getting them being their next actions is to have more mind games being played with you or play more mind games with you with that five of swords there. Okay. What the hell? What are uh, Cancer's next? In what are, what are Cancer's intentions when it comes to this person? If not, yeah. What are Cancer's intentions, please? What are Cancer's intentions? The Sun in Reverse. Why the Sun in Reverse for? I think your intentions is to be more bummed out about this. Why the Sun in Reverse? Yeah, it's like I feel like your intentions is to come back around or at least have things grow or, or, or nurture things between the two. But it's kind of like your intentions is to kind of like be bummed out about the situation. The fact that it's not, the fact that there's no growth or expansion here. There's a fly. Anyway, can we go with the Libra? So I, it's like your intentions is wanting to get things off the ground with this person, but at the same time, I feel like you're bummed out or you're, you're just unhappy. I think this is person is just, their intentions is just to play more mind games with you. What's the possible outcome for now until the end of uh, October for the situation? What's the possible outcome for now until the end of October for the situation? King of Swords, what's the possible outcome here? The Ace of Wands, what's the possible outcome here? And the Nine of Wands, why is all this happening? So happening due to an ending? Why is that King of Swords there? Why is that Ace of Wands? Why is the Nine of Wands? I see somebody. Why? Why is that Ace of Wands there? So I feel like somebody here is going to try to make things, try to have a new start with you or pass in a new start between the two of you, but I'm getting somebody here closed off emotionally, or at least they're thinking more logically when it comes to this connection. Um, I see that there's somebody that, it's kind of like they're going to be coming in with the same shit, but I see you pushing them off or you're pushing them away. Why is that seven? Why is that? Yeah, I see you're not really being as interested with this person. Okay. I'm getting this person kind of like maybe entertaining it in a passionate way or they're going to try to see if they could get, you know, have this passionate new beginning or this new start. But it's like, I don't feel like you're going to be investing your emotions into this person. If anything, you're just going to be very thinking, you're going to be thinking logically. And then quite frankly, when I feel like they are going to return or they're going to come in, you're just going to be very guarded. You're going to end up pushing this person away and not being interested. Why the death card there? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Death card to the Wheel of Fortune. That's why it's all happening. Because you're wanting things to change or something to transform, to, to grow into something more. And I feel like this is someone who's just going to continue not to put the work and energy into this. Or this is someone who's going to continue on their Playboy Playgirl ways. Alright? But ultimately, I see you're not being interested in this. Or you're just going to end up pushing this away. I do feel like they're going to end up trying, though with that ace of wands there they're gonna try to like you know be passionate or be flirty or whatever the case may be but i see you shutting that down it could be done with the fire sign of virgo um water uh it could be any sign really okay 
So, so we're done with Cancer now. So we are on the zodiac sign of Leo. What's going on with Leo here? What can you tell me? Give me the person. What's going on with Leo and the person that Leo is dealing with? What is going on with Leo and the person that Leo is dealing with? Show me Leo and the person that Leo is dealing with, please. For October. What is going on with Leo and the person that Leo is dealing with for October? So the overall view is the Two of Swords in reverse. Ugh. You got the King of Wands and the Six of Cups. So the overall view is Two of Swords in reverse. What is this Two of Swords in reverse about? Show me the Two of Swords in reverse here. Somebody here is ignoring this. What? Or at least that's the overall view. Kind of like a, not a lack of growth or expansion. Nothing getting off the ground. Kind of just ignoring this or avoiding this. Why is that King of Wands there? Show me the King of Wands. Why the King of Wands? What is this King of Wands about? I feel like this is... It's like you're definitely looking. It's like this person's constantly on your mind, or you constantly think about reuniting with them or coming together with them with that Six of Cups there. But I feel like this is someone you're definitely wanting to be together with or have something stable with or come with this some sort of solid offer. I feel like you're 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 wanting to have some sort of steady communication with them. Like it's like you're wanting that passion and that security or the stability with this person and it's like i feel like you constantly think about them or you constantly like, you miss them or reminisce about the past here it's like they're constantly on your mind what is the six of cups show me the six of cups i feel like you're wanting to work on this man you're wanting to come together with this person you want the stability you want the passion i feel like you, this is someone who's you think about working things out with this person or putting the work in and time into it or coming together in a very balanced peaceful state and it's like this is someone who's constantly on your mind that you think about um your person has the page of swords to the two of pentacles what is this page of swords about what is this page of swords about show me the page of swords and the four of swords in reverse so there's definitely uh, so I may maybe this is someone who's definitely at a distance here. I feel like they may watch you or keep tabs on you online. I feel like there's this, this energy of them wanting to come back around or communicate with you. But you're coming up as the queen and king of wands. And they're coming up as someone who's very immature or childish. Okay. I feel like they do want to return or come out of the cold. At least they want them to come back around to you to communicate or have some form of communication here. But then they also have the two of pentacles. What is this two of pentacles about? What is this Two of Pentacles about? They're going back and forth whether they want a relationship here or not. So this is someone who really isn't totally sure. So it's like it's like one minute they go back and it's like they go back and forth about having a relationship with you or having something in regards to taking things to the next level or things being more stable or committed with that four of wands there. It's like they're going back and forth about it. They're not sure whoever this is. Why is that two why is that two of pentacles? Why the two of pentacles? And they're acting very they're acting very detached when it comes to their feelings or emotions. They're acting very cold, very attached, very detached. They're not feeding this right now. They're not sure whether they want to they want to do this or not. Show me the two of pentacles. They're closed off emotionally or they have a hard time opening up emotionally. I feel like this is someone who could very well be on and off. One minute you talk to them, the next minute you don't. Um, why it's all happening? The queen of wands in reverse. So nobody really chasing anybody right now at this time. Or somebody here could just be very unreliable. Show me that queen of wands in reverse. Show me the queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, the Seven of Swords in reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse there? 
somebody here was cut off due to whatever it is that was they whatever it is that came out there was something that was revealed or something that was known it could be due to somebody else there could have been a third party somebody was cut off and it's kind of like right now no one's really communicating with one another what how does leo see this person what can you tell me how does leo see this person You see them as the Ten of Cups? Wow, why the Ten of Cups? Why the Ten of Cups? You see them as someone that you just want to make things happen or you just want to run? You just want to... It's like you, you want to just rush towards them to ha to make this happen. To make this work. To put the energy and time into this. Like to fully come together. No joke. You see everything with this person. The happy home, the happy wife, everything. It's like you see this, it's like you just want to make things happen with this person. Um, how does this person see Leo? How does this person over here see Leo? What can you tell me? How does this person see Leo? I see you as the page of pentacles. Why is this page of pentacles? Why the page of pentacles? And the ace of wands. I feel like they definitely see you as someone that they are very passionate about though. They, I think they see you as someone that they would like to have or keep the lines of communication open or at least, you know, have some sort of passionate connection with you. It's like they're passionate about you, but whoever this is, I think this is someone who's still very much immature. They don't know what they want. They're closed off emotionally. They're going back and forth whether about this, whether have this relationship. They're distant from you, but yet they want to come back around and communicate but this is someone who's very they're coming up as pages so they're very immature uh what actions will leo be taking towards this person if not yet already what actions will leo be taking if not yet already towards this person for some of you you may be bringing this person in the sun card with manifest like you're manifesting them show me the sun card show me the sun card we're doing with the Leo. You're going to be trying to communicate with them or try to reach out to talk to them or, you know, you're going to try to keep that line of communication open because I feel like this is someone that you see your happiness with, with that sun card there. So it's like you're, you're going to be trying to communicate with them, trying to see if you can get on that page with them or that same page there. <sighs> I feel like you're going to be trying to communicate with this person or at least try to get to a point where the communication can be at least back and forth. Um, how does this, wh what actions will this person be taking towards Leo if not yet already? What actions will they be taking towards Leo if not yet already? The five of wands, why the five of wands? And the eight of swords in reverse. This is someone who's stuck, okay? Why is that five, eight, eight, eight uh, ugh, I can't talk. Five of wands to the eight of swords. The emperor in reverse, the judgment. They're not going to be really making a decision when it comes to having a new start or having something here with you, if anything, okay? I think this is someone who's very much in their head. They don't know what to do. Um, they're really not going to be taking any initiatives or trying to step up to the plate when it comes to you, okay? It's like this is someone who, it's like they don't know what they want exactly. And I, so I don't see them making that decision to start something or rekindle something as of yet or at least something real if that's what you're looking for. What's the possible, um, out actually, what are, uh, Virgo, I mean, Leo's uh, intentions? What are Leo's intentions? What can you tell me? What are Leo's true intentions here? Intentions. The Wheel of Fortune? Why the Wheel of Fortune? Why the Wheel of Fortune here? And the Three of Pentacles. Like, your intentions is to at least become friends. Like, get on the same page with this person towards where things could move or things can change or the... You know, or at least get... Because I feel like you're definitely wanting to have a relationship with this person. 
but it's like you, your intentions is to be more friendly with them or you know become at least work together or be on the same page with this person why is the wheel of fortune there hangman in reverse But I, it's kind of like I see you wanting to be I feel like you're gonna keep reaching out to this person or you're gonna try to be on the same page or try to be more cordial or work together in hopes of something could come out of this um, what are this person's true intentions with Leo what are their true intentions with Leo the devil card why the devil card for why the devil and the seven of wands this is someone who's going to be kind of pushing you away or like there's this energy of them pushing this away all right i feel like this is someone their intentions is to i feel like they they do want to have uh, something passionate with you with that devil card there but at the same time they they have a tendency to push you away or their intentions is to I don't feel like this is someone who's ready or is looking for a commitment or is wanting to be in some sort of commitment. And then I, I honestly don't think that they don't even know what the hell they want. Why is the devil card there? I feel like they're going to end up one minute turning their back. The next minute they're going to be communicating with you. They, they seem very scattered or very all over the place. Okay, so it's like one minute they're talking with you. The next minute they're closing off. All right, this may seem, you know... I'm, and then the next minute it's kind of like they're feeding this but then they push you away Ugh, what the hell? what in the hell is I don't know what is this man what's the possible outcome for now until the end of this uh, situation for October what's, what's the possible outcome for now until the end of October basically what's the possible outcome here for now until the end of October until the end of October the lovers in reverse that the, that this connection things not getting off the ground or there's this energy of things repeating itself or the stagnancy repeating itself give me one more and the tower why is this happening why is this happening the eight of cups in reverse somebody here coming back around or are you having a hard time fully walking away from this why the lovers in reverse there I feel like somebody here is just going to be very much in their feelings the fact that it's not you know that connection is not coming together or someone here is just going to be definitely in their feelings and their emotions the fact that there's a disconnection between the two what is this knight of pentacles in reverse why is that tower there i feel like this i feel like this whole imbalance or this whole lack of balance between the two of you is going to cause to have some sort of tower moment or you to, or you to feel some sort of type of way why the tower there i think at some point in time it's going to make you realize or make you see that you're probably wasting your time into this connection okay with that seven of pentacles in reverse there because at the end of the day it's not you're not getting exactly what you want or you're not having that balance or that re that was that you know equal back and forth I feel like this is gonna a cycle that's just gonna continue to repeat itself <sighs> eventually you're gonna feel like either you're wasting your time on this and you're not gonna want why the, the why the judgment there yeah I feel like because you're looking to have something committed but I feel like at some point in time this has to be dropped or at least they're gonna drop it or you're gonna make some sort of decision to drop it but I feel like at some point in time there's a little bit of a hindrance not making that decision before you actually do but that's what I got. You can be dealing with the earth sign. Um, I got Libra here. Uh, fire. It could be any sign here, right? Okay, so what is going on here? So we are on... What are we? We are on, on Virgo. What is going on with the zodiac sign of Virgo? And the person that Virgo was dealing with. Hold on one second. It's really hot in this room. Give me one second. One second. Always watching. All right, so we are on Virgo now. So what is going on with Virgo and the person that Virgo is dealing with? What can you tell me? 
What is going on with Virgo and the person that Virgo is dealing with for October? What is going on with Virgo and the person that Virgo is dealing with for October, please? Sarah, baby, don't do that to the bag. Sarah, so the overall view is the night, the hangman in reverse. Keep dealing with the Pisces, two of cups in reverse. Even though there's a disconnection here, I still feel like, ooh boy. Uh, what is this hangman in reverse for the overall? Show me the hangman in reverse overall. Yeah, and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So the, there's this energy here of you. Can, somebody here not really feeding it. Somebody here is not feeding the connection, or at least there's this energy of stagnation or um, giving up. All right, but at the same time, there's this energy here. Either somebody here could be codependent, or there's this energy of not wanting to be single from this person. But there's stagnancy when it comes to this. Show me the two of cups. Oh, give me one second. I'm so sorry. It's already doing. No, 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 Oh, how do I have this here? All right. So let's see what's going on here. So what is this two of cups? Show me this two of cups, please. Show me the two of cups. What is this two of cups? Clarify the two of cups in reverse. So obviously there was some sort of disconnection. Ooh, what? Why is that two of cups there? I mean the, the seven of cups. Clarify that to clarify the seven of cups. What is the seven of cups about? Somebody here, I don't know if you dropped them or they dropped you or whatever the case may be, but it's talking about that there was some sort of disconnection or falling out that you had with this person, but at the same time, you're still wanting to come together with them or you still have deep feelings for this person. What is this two of cups in reverse? What is this two of cups in reverse? Yeah, there was some sort of ending that happened between you and the person that you're dealing with. And it's like, maybe you could be losing hope and faith in the connection. Show me that. Show me the lovers. Show me the lovers. What is this lovers about? I feel like even though a part of you... Okay, so... Even though you had some sort of ending... Even though you had some sort of ending with this person or some sort of falling out... Okay... I feel like a part of you is still wanting to come together with them or start all over again or, or you know, get this off the ground in regards to a relationship or come together. Um, why is that Seven of Cups there? Why the Seven of Cups? Why the Seven of Cups? Show me the Seven of Cups, please. Show me that Seven of Cups. Why is that there? I do feel like, I don't know if there was something that was revealed or something that was known. You you may, there's confusion here as well. Or maybe there's, uh, somebody here either kept their options open at some point in time due to, maybe that could have been the reason why somebody here disconnected or you had a falling out with this person. But it's telling me that you still love them or you still have deep feelings for this person with that king of cups there. You feel like things are not moving forward. There was something that ended between the two of you, but at the same time, it's like you're still wanting this person, or you're still wanting a connection with them. The person that you're dealing with has the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So what is this Ace of Pentacles in reverse about? Show me the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So right now, there's a lack of a new start, a lack of a new beginning. What is this Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Even though, I feel like whoever this is, even though... Nothing's getting off the ground with this person. I feel like they're still emotionally holding on to you or they're still emotionally tied to this situation. All right. I feel like this is someone who still wants to come back around, even though right now you guys may be at a distance from one another. What is this Five of Swords about? What's this Five of Swords about? 
Show me the five of swords. What is this five of swords about? But they play too many games, whoever is it. This is someone who, it's kind of like they would like, they would be open to communicate with you, but it's like they play a lot of mind games with you, whoever this is. It's like they play a lot of mind games when it comes to you, when it comes to the situation, okay? Why does someone look close? And it's like, I think... I think, um, Virgo could be you with the person. Take it out of resonates. Anyway, Sarah, don't touch that, baby. Just give me one second. I kind of, it kind of looks like to me because Virgo, even though things ended between the two of you, I feel like in your mind you do a lot of fantasizing about coming together or reconciling or fixing the situation or healing it. Because I deep down I feel like you do want this person, but it's like they play a they play a lot of mind games with you. What is this five of swords? What is this five of swords about? The devil in reverse, they come across as if they're not interested or they're not as tied to you. Like they were before. <sighs> Why the devil in reverse? The two of swords, they're very closed off. They're very indecisive. This is someone who one minute they'll talk to you, the next minute they don't. They tend to play a lot of mind games with you. Or at least they act like they're not as attached to you like they, they used to be. Why is what happening? The king of pentacles in reverse. So kind of like no offers being had. This person may be focusing. You may be focusing on yourself right now at this time. What is this King of Pentacles in reverse about? Show me the King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. It's all happening due to maybe coming together. Or no. Or reuniting with one another. To probably have some sort of higher level of commitment. Or something long term. But like I think you're just. I think. I think right now you're either focusing on yourself or this person's focusing on themselves here. There could have been a third party for some of you, not all. Why is that eight of cups in reverse there? The devil, whoever this is, it's it's kind of like even though they still want to come back around towards you, they're toxic with that devil in reverse there. They play too many games. Um, how does, um, how does Virgo see this person? What can you tell me? How does Virgo see this person? What can you tell me here? You see them as the king of swords? Why the king of swords? Why the king of swords? You see this? Oh, damn. Again, I feel like I'm getting the same storylines for everybody. It's like you see this person as someone that's very cold, detached with their communication, or they don't express their emotions. It's like you see this person as someone that disappointed you, or you you, you just you know you you're just very disappointed in their actions and the fact that they're not giving you that fulfillment. Why is that five of cups there? Yeah, you see this person as someone that you want a relationship with, or you're wanting something stable with. But it's a it's a disappointment because they play too many games. And I feel like a part of you is trying to think this way. And you're trying to, I feel like maybe you could be trying to think in a very logical way with that King of Swords there. But I really do feel like you see this person as someone who's hurt you, or feel, you feel very disappointed by. How does this person, how does this person see Virgo? How does this person over here see Virgo? What can you tell me? How does this person see Virgo? Nine of Swords, why the Nine of Swords? Why the Nine of Swords? They see you as someone who's given... Oh. So they, they see you as someone who's really not fighting for it. So in their in their eyes or in their mind, they see you as someone who's not fighting for this connection anymore. They see you as someone who may be kind of stressed out or or worried or in their head about this. Mm -hmm. 
Why is that seven of wands in reverse? They feel like things are not finished between the two of you. Or, or uh, they're not done playing mind games with you yet. So, like, what the hell? They feel like the chapter or or this this connection isn't done or there's a lack of closure between the two of them, between the two of you. They feel like you're giving up on this connection or you're, you're really not putting much effort or work into it. What the hell? Why is this Nine of Swords there? Why the world in reverse? They feel like you're moving on or you're giving up on them world in reverse to the six of swords they see you as someone who's moving on but at the same time someone that they haven't closed out a chapter with or they feel like there's unfinished business here they may see you as someone who's in their head about this all right or stressing out about that connection but at the same time they see you as someone who's not really fighting for it or is kind of throwing the towel what are virgo's um next actions when it comes to this person if not yet already what are Virgo's next actions when it comes to this person, if not yet already? The Eight of Wands, you know, and block them. Why the Eight of Wands in reverse? Why the Eight of Wands in reverse? You're going to end up blocking this person and not really communicating with them. So it's like you're going to end up kind of like blocking them, not really feeding this communication, not chasing this person, okay? Sarah, baby, can you stop that? You're going to end up breaking it, mama. So it's like I see you blocking this person or there will, there's blocks in communication or you're not going after them. So what are this person's next actions towards Virgo? What are this person's next actions towards Virgo? Sarah, baby, can you stop that? The Ten of Cups in reverse. Why the Ten of Cups in reverse for? I think this is someone who's gonna come towards you in in this energy of wanting something committed but really not they're gonna come towards you as if they want something committed but in reality that's not what they're going to give you with that ten of cups in reverse there so this is false so whoever this is they're gonna come towards you acting like they want something of commitment or they're wanting this or they're wanting that but that's not true ten of cups in reverse that's just complete disappointment so they're gonna act like they want something in reality. They're they're just not. That's not. That's not what's really happening here. They either may be leading you on. What the hell? Why would? Uh, or they may try to come towards you in a right way to make you think that they're looking for something or they're wanting something committed. But in reality, with that ten of cups, there is not. It's in reverse. That's not the case. What are uh, Virgo's um, true intentions with this person? What can you tell me? What are Virgo's true intentions with this person? I saw the Ten of Pentacles. Like, you intend to have something long-term, something stable. Ten of Wands. Clarify the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Swords. So, as your intentions is to basically let this go or heal from this. But at the same time, I see it being difficult for you, or it's a burden on your on yourself, the fact that you have to let this go. So it's like your intentions is to end this, or heal from this, or, or just let this go, but at the same time, it's a little bit of a struggle with that Ten of Wands there. Oh boy, what is this person's intentions with Virgo? What can you tell me? What are their intentions with Virgo? Eight of Swords, being stuck in their head, not knowing what to do. The Sun in reverse, being unhappy, being bummed out, being in this energy of, well, you know, poor me, poor me, boo-hoo. Um, so it's like their intentions is to really kind of like not make a decision, be in their head about this, act like they're unhappy with the situation. But yet, they're not the ones giving you what you want or feeding this connection. If anything, they're the ones who are playing the games. Why is that Eight of Swords there? Yeah, so it's like it's like they're they're in their head too much about having something real or or getting things off the ground. Okay, I don't feel like this person's intentions is to actually be serious with you. 
Uh, what's the possible outcome for now until the end of October for the situation, please? What can you tell me? What's the possible outcome for now until the end of October, please? For now until the end of October. Tower in reverse and end up avoiding a disaster with this person. Not make a decision when it comes to this at all. Okay, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Why is all this happening? The Devil in reverse. So clarify this Tower in reverse. You're going to be dropping this. Somebody here is just going to be avoiding this at all costs. Okay, avoiding a disaster, avoiding this at all costs, dropping this connection, right? Not making a decision. Why is that two of wands in reverse? Not making a decision about coming out or reaching out. Why is that seven of pentacles in reverse? I don't see you. Who, why the devil in reverse? I Okay, so... I feel like you're going to be trying to avoid this person, right? You're going to try to avoid them. You're not going to be making a decision to reach out to them with a high priestess in reverse there. But at the same time, I do get communication coming through. And with that Knight of Wands, this is someone who's very in and out, right? They're playboy, playgirl. This is someone who's not going to be investing time and, and or energy in this connection. Whoever this is, this is someone who they come in and they leave. They come in and then they leave. And it's like you, you you already wasted your time into this. So it's like you're going to be avoiding them. And then I feel like they're eventually going to try to come back around. But really not put the energy and time into the connection. Why the Knight of Wands there? The Wheel of Fortune reverse. It won't go anywhere. Two of Swords. This person will go right back to being indecisive. Okay, so it's like they just want to feed this attention. It apparently is what it's looking like here. But ultimately, why it's all happening? Kind of like detaching yourself and not really communicating with them. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, a fire sign, a or a Vir another Virgo, a Gemini. It could be any sign here. So your best bet is just to ignore this person. So Libra, what is going on with Libra? What is going on with Libra? What can you tell me? Give me Libra and the person that Libra is dealing with. Give me Libra and the person that Libra is dealing with. For October what is going on with Libra and the person that Libra is dealing with for October Fast shuffle. so the four swords in reverse right that's uh, okay we'll see what's going on here the high priestess in reverse and the higher fan reverse so oh, there we go again <laughs> So there's this, the overall view is the four swords in re reverse, so that's like a return or wanting to come back around. Why is that four swords in reverse? Why the four swords in reverse? Yeah, and somebody here is ignoring trying to return. Or at least that's the overall, like ignoring a return or ignoring coming back around to one another. You got the high priestess in reverse. What is this high priestess in reverse about? What is this high priestess in reverse about? Please show me. Whoever this is, this is someone. Why is that higher fit in reverse? Why the higher fit in reverse? This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Take it how it resonates, okay? But I'm getting the high priestess in reverse, the ace of swords in reverse. This is someone who is not truthful at all whatsoever okay i'm getting that this is someone who has commitment issues or there, there's a situation here where things ended between the two of you because of commitment issues i'm getting whoever this is this is someone who has a hard time expressing their emotions or they're very detached from their emotions um they're non-committal with that higher fan reverse there. and on top of that there could have been things that were revealed or secrets that came out I don't feel like this is someone who's honest at all with that ace of swords in reverse there <sighs> what is this high what's the high priestess in reverse for you could be doing with the virgo or taurus what is this high priestess in reverse about they're very, they're not you know it's like this is someone who there's this energy of them wanting to come back around only for them not to tell you the truth or only for them not to be open emotionally towards you or not offer you anything. This is someone who is kind of like they want to come together for the benefit of them or be friends or 
you know, have something to do with in their life here, but they're someone who is non, they're non-committal. They tend to be very cold, very detached. They don't show their emotions or their feelings here. Your person has the magician to the ten of swords in reverse. What is this magician about? Clarify the magician there. What is this magician about? They watch you. So whoever this is, I feel like this is someone who definitely is manifesting this connection. Or they're definitely, if they're not aware of it with that magician card there. But it's like they keep tabs on you or they watch you from afar. They see what you're doing online or whatever the case may be. Show me the Ten of Swords in reverse. Show me the Ten of Swords in reverse. What the hell? So I think a part of them definitely still still wants to like, I feel like they're curious of what you're up to, whoever this is. So it's like they will keep tabs on you online to see what you're doing. But then another part of them is kind of like letting this go or deciding to completely end this or let this go and close off emotionally or not really offer any any emotion towards this connection what the hell why is this ace of cups in reverse why is the ace of cups in reverse there yeah the seven of wands somebody here there's this energy of you guys being disconnected from one another a lack of a new start or expressing emotions i'm getting somebody here pushing this away or they have a tendency to be very guarded or they some they're running they're pushing this aside or pushing this away. How does Libra see this person? How does Libra see this person? They see you as the death card. Why the death card? They see you as someone you see them as someone who's dropped you or let you go? So you see this person as someone that you had an ending with. And I feel like it's like you see them as someone who's dropped you or let you go at some point in time. So you, you were dropped or let go of. Or you see this person as someone who completely dropped you or let go of you. And, and That's what it's saying here. I don't know if this is making sense. How does this person see Libra? How does this person over here see Libra? four wands in reverse someone that's not stable there, there's lack stability the three of wands i kind of feel like i feel like whatever it is that happened between the two of you already died out okay i feel like i feel like things are already over here but i feel like whoever this is they're still watching you or they're still keeping eye on you to see what you're doing or whatever the case may be but then another part of them is like completely closed off and get getting over this ending or letting this go in a way but it's like they see you as someone that i feel like a part of them they could be waiting on you to communicate with them or have some sort of communication even though they see you as someone that they know that things are not balanced or there's no stability or there's no foundation or solid foundation here or they know that you won't you won't be able to give them what that relationship. Why is that three of wands there? Wheel of fortune. It's like they see you as someone that they they're waiting on. They're w I feel like a part of them could be waiting on something or waiting on communication. It just doesn't feel like this is someone who who is looking to get back into a relationship i feel like there's a process or there's a situation here where this person slowly kind of like letting this go but at the same time hasn't fully let this go yet but like still watches them or keep tabs on them or still hopes for them to communicate or wait for them to communicate at some point in time is what i'm getting here with that three of wands how you see them what actions will uh, Libra be taking towards this person if not yet already? What can you tell me? What actions will Libra be taking if not yet already? Oh, that's too much. What actions will this person be taking if not yet already? Six of Pentacles? Why the Six of Pentacles? And the Eight of Pentacles. So it's like their actions is to one minute communicate with you right have some sort of equal give have some sort of conversation or reach out or have things go back and forth only for them to really not put the work and the attention and the care and 
to make this a priority. So it's kind of like I feel like they're going to end up, their intentions or their next actions is to communicate with you only for them not to really truly put the work in. Because I don't feel like this is someone who's looking for commitment. Everybody's, I feel like I'm getting the same storyline for everyone. Uh, what next actions will this person be taking towards uh, Libra? What next actions will they be taking towards Libra? What can you tell me? Five of Cups. Why the Five of Cups? Why the Five of Cups? Oh, okay. And the Judgment card. Why is that Five of Cups in the Judgment card? The Two of Wands in reverse. So it's kind of like, I feel like they're not really going to be making much of a decision here. I feel like... I feel like the, a part of, this is someone who they're not going to be making a decision even though they do want to have like have some sort of repeat in regards to this or there's this energy of him of them feeling disappointed and sad when it comes to this why the judgment the ace of wands in reverse the star in reverse so it's like they're losing hope and faith in this connection i really don't see them reaching out much okay with the ace of wands and the, and the star in reverse if anything they're kind of they've lost hope and faith in this connection all right there's this energy of not making a decision but at the same time they're sitting in some sort of sadness um what are libra's true intentions when it comes to this person what are Libra's true intentions when it comes to this person? The Eight of Wands in reverse. Blocks in communication. Clarify the Eight of Wands in reverse here for. And the Queen of Pentacles. Their intentions is to not come forth with any some sort in any, any any kind of any kind of stability. I feel like their intentions is to focus on themselves. I feel like there's blocked communication. One minute they're talking to you, the next minute they're not. One minute they're feeding to this, the next minute they're not. But ultimately, it's like they're putting their energy and focus into themselves. I keep getting the same repetitive storylines here. Um, what intentions, what are this person's intentions with Libra? Can you tell me? What are their true intentions with Libra? Ten of Wands. Why the Ten of Wands here? And the Seven of Swords. Why the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords? Feel like they're just gonna be watching you i feel like there's this energy of just watching you feeling burdened by the kind of feeling burden or with weigh, this is weighing heavy i think this is someone who's stressed out or they have this constantly on their mind and it's like i feel like they're just going to be keeping tabs or keeping an eye on you watching you not really coming forward with any communication here because i really do feel like they feel like it's wish unfulfillment so I really don't see them much, taking much action when it comes to this here, or intentions. It's like they know. It's like their intentions just to keep eye, just basically watch you from afar. What's the possible outcome for this for this connection for now until the end of uh, October? What's the possible outcome here? The Nine of Cups in reverse. What's the possible outcome? The Queen of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles. Why is this happening? The Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the Nine of the Clarify the Nine of Cups here. In reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Show me the Queen of Wands. I'm getting somebody here, cutting somebody off. Why is that Seven of Pentacles there? What the is going on? Why is that Wheel of Fortune there? So it's kind of like I'm getting this energy of, of, again, being things not being stable between the two of you. A lack of commitment or no commitment at all that's going to result to kind of like being a wish on fulfillment or emotionally draining. And I do feel like at some point in time, somebody here is going to be communicating. It's like one minute. I feel like somebody here is going to decide to cut this shit off. But then once they cut it off, there's somebody. It's like they, they return. I, it's like once they cut this off, they end up returning. Or they end up putting their they end up putting the time or the, the it's like they come back around. Why the seven of pentacles? Why the seven of pentacles? Uh, I'm getting just listen. Whoever this is, don't try to feed this connection. 
I'm getting somebody here severing ties with you. I don't know if you're severing ties with you or they're severing ties. Somebody here is going to end up cutting somebody off due to the inconsistencies, if not yet already. But then at the same time, I get I get you feeding this connection again. Somehow, some way. Or still wanting to put the energy and time into this. But I feel like eventually you're going to... It's like you're going to lose hope and faith and somebody here is going to end up trying to move on. Why is it all happening? The will of fortune to the emperor wanting some sort of change. Somebody to step up or take control of the situation. Why is the six of swords? Yeah, I think finally you're going to end up feeling... Somebody here is going to end up really getting fed up, okay? And it's going to result into you kind of like distancing yourself and dropping this whole connection. Alright, so that's what I got. I can deal with an Aries, Sagittarius, Earth sign. Um, another air sign doesn't have to be. It could be any sign. Fire as well, okay? Okay. So we got Scorpio. What is going on with the zodiac sign of Scorpio? Give me Scorpio and the person that Scorpio was dealing with. What is going on with Scorpio and the person that Scorpio was dealing with, please? What is going on with Scorpio and the person that Scorpio is dealing with? Give me Scorpio and the person that Scorpio is dealing with, please. So you got the three pentacles as the overall here. The overall view is coming together or being friends or being cordial or coming together like being on the same page with one another with that three of pentacles there. Why is that three of pentacles though? Why is it three of pentacles? Four swords. You guys are at a distance from one another. Or there's some sort of break being taken place between the two of you right now at this time. But there's this energy of wanting to come together or be cordial with one another. Show me this page of pentacles in reverse. What happened, Sarah? Why is that page of pentacles in reverse? And the three of swords. You may sever ties with this person. I'm getting you not in communication when it comes to them. I think there could have been a third party at some point in time. Oh, man. It doesn't always have to be an actual person. Why is that three of swords in reverse there? So there's somebody here you just completely went cold on. Or you completely cut off or you detached emotionally or you severed ties with. With that page of pentacles and reverse the three of swords to the king of swords in reverse there. So it's like you, you cut this person off somehow, some way. You turned your back on them or you gave them the cold shoulder. You're not in communication with them. What is this knight of pentacles about in reverse? Well, that's... I, I needed one. Three of them came out. Give me this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Why is that there? Why the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for? Yeah, you're being very silent with this person. I'm getting you kind of just... <sighs> being done with them in a way. So it's like you closed off. You're acting very cold and detached. You suffer ties with them. You stop communicating with them. You're not coming towards them with any offers. If anything, you're just being very silent with that moon card there. We're doing with the Pisces. Your person has the strain card. So clarify the strain. What is the strain card about? What is the strain card about? What's the strain card about? Why is that Queen of Wands in reverse here? For why is that Queen of Wands in reverse? So they're not taking any moves towards you neither. Things are really... I feel like nothing's really happening but, but keeping tabs on one another or watching one another from afar with that page of swords in reverse there. It's like they know that the connection isn't how how it used to be with that ten of cups in reverse or they, they're... It's like they know of this disconnection or falling out and it's like they're just holding back. They're not trying to chase you right now with that Queen of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Swords in reverse. It's kind of like both of you guys are just doing the same thing to one another. You, both of you guys are being silent with one another. What is this Page of Swords in reverse about for why it's all happening? Show me the Page of Swords in reverse. It's all happening due to keeping tabs on one another and just this energy of wanting to reconcile or wanting to drop whatever drama. That's why it's all happening. So I think you guys are... Somebody here is watching you from afar, and it's like both you guys are both 
both of you guys are just being at s complete silence with one another at this time. How does Scorpio see this person? How does Scorpio see this person? Four of Cups. Clarify the Four of Cups. Clarify the Four of Cups. Why is that Four of Cups there one more time? It's like you see this person as someone that you're not really interested in, in having some sort of offer with, with that Four of Cups. But at the same time, I feel like you wouldn't mind passionately communicating with this person. I don't know. What the, you see this person as someone that, that there's no growth or nothing could come out of the situation. But I feel like you're not really truly interested in regards to them with that Four of Cups there. Or you see this person as someone who's not really taking, your, taking you seriously or taking an offer from you. At the same time, there could have been a third party that, that was happening here. Why is that Four of Cups to the King of Wands for how you see them? The Emperor. I don't feel like you, you're you're as interested in this person with that Four of Cups. Because you see this person as someone that you're really not. One minute, one minute you're not taking up an offer from them or you're not interested. The next minute you want there's passion here. Why the knight of why the why is this king of wands? The knight of pentacles in reverse. See this person as someone who's doing them right now at this time. I'm not really getting you completely wanting com completely seeing this person as someone that you're wanting to be with or wanting to re wanting to connect though. How does how does this person see Scorpio? What can you tell me? How do they see Scorpio? How do they see Scorpio? How do they see Scorpio? See you as someone that they had some sort of ending with. Why the Ten of Swords? Why is that Ten of Swords there? They see you as someone who's given up on this connection, not fighting for it. There's, they see you as someone who they had some sort of there was a betrayal here or someone backstabbed somebody why is that king of wands there one more time they see so scorpio you see this person as someone right now they either is blocks in communication or literally this person blocked you or you block them this could be a karmic situation but it's like i don't feel like you're interested in them or you see this person you feel like they're not interested in you this is but but then they see you as someone that who they see you as someone that they had some sort of bad ending with and then they had there was some sort of betrayal that happened or backstabbing that happened between the two of you they see you as someone who's not fighting for the connection at all why is that nine of wands in reverse there ten of wands it's a burden or they, they're feeling heavy by this connection here what um what actions will Scorpio be taking towards this person if not yet already? What actions will Scorpio be taking if not yet already? What actions will this will Scorpio be taking if not yet already here? What can you tell me? Page of Wands in reverse. Clarify the Page of Wands in reverse. Why is that there? You're going to avoid this person. So your next action is to avoid a disaster with them. Avoid communicating with them at all costs. So you know that this is something that you need to avoid. So you're not you're not really interested in talking to this person. If anything, you need to avoid them. Avoid a disaster. What is this person's next actions towards uh, Scorpio? What can you tell me? What are their next actions towards Scorpio? The Hermit cards are going to be withdrawn here. Clarify the Hermit. And the Temperance. So... Even though they are withdrawn, or I, even though I don't see them taking much action, I feel like even though they are not in communication with you, or they're holding back a part of them still in their feelings about you, or maybe a little bit in their emotions about how, you know, handling the situation. So it's kind of like they're not like completely healed, even though they are withdrawn. Um... What are uh, Scorpio's intentions with this person? What can you tell me? What are Scorpio's true intentions here? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. 
the nine of swords to not really move things forward but it's kind of like i see you being in your head about it though or you're like you you may be stressed out about it or there's anxiety when it comes to this or you could just be very much in your head when it comes to this but it's like i don't feel like your intentions is to move forward with this person or in this individual here what is this person's intentions with scorpio what are their true intentions with scorpio what are their true intentions with scorpio the moon in reverse why the moon in reverse four wands why is that i feel like their intentions is to come back around or let, at least let you know that they want a relationship or they haven't moved past this <laughs> i think their intentions is to kind of like come out of this period of no communication why the four of wands in reverse there but at the same time they're it, it's a it's like they're very wishy-washy like they're very closed off emotionally they're you know they're but at the same time it's like how can you want something but yet not be open for it it's like they're gonna want they're gonna want to reveal themselves as if they want something like what but at the same time i clarified it with the page of cups in reverse the six of the the the, the sun in reverse they're going to be closed off emotionally or at least they're going to be in this energy of being sad or being depressed or it's kind of like a victim energy here <laughs> what's the possible outcome here for now until the end of october please what can you tell me what's the possible outcome here judgment two of pentacles in reverse somebody here just dropping this all together okay why is all this happening but there's still this sense of feeling not it's kind of like even though you're dropping this there's this energy of still feeling like things are not being not having your justice or not having there's something that's feeling off when it comes to you feeling victorious when you come to dropping this person why the judgment here i don't you're not going to be made i feel like you refuse to have a second chance with this person or there's this energy of not making this decision in regards to having a second chance so you're not budging when it comes to this why is that two of pentacles in reverse there the world in reverse so even though you are dropping that that's what i was picking up even though you are dropping this connection there's still this unfinished business feeling sense between the two of you and i think that's what's making the justice and reverse that that imbalance between the two of you why the justice in reverse for yeah it's all happening because maybe you guys there's something here in regards to someone being a non-committal or a lack of commitment here i don't know what she's, i don't know why it's all happening being closed off emotionally not giving into this and heartbreak here so that's exactly what i'm getting here okay what is it sarah what, what is it well, you can't get the sticker out. That's what I got. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god. What is it? What is it? What happened? But that's what I got for you guys, okay? <laughs> that's exactly what I got. So, if you're, you know, you can be dealing with the Earth sign, the Taurus. I got Leo. Um, it could be any sign. You could be dealing with someone younger as well. Okay? What is it? Okay. Okay, mama. You'll be fine, okay? You'll be okay. Are you picking your nose? You'll be okay, mama. Okay. So we got the Sagittarius now. So what is going on with the zodiac sign of Sagittarius and the person that you're dealing with? 
What is going on with Sagittarius and the person that Sagittarius is dealing with for October, please? What is going on with the zodiac sign of Sagittarius and the person that Sagittarius is dealing with, please? What is going on with Sagittarius and the person that Sagittarius is dealing with for October? Alright, Sagittarius, what's happening here? So you got the Seven of Wands in reverse. So, why is that Seven of Wands in reverse here? You can be dealing with the fire sign. Why is that Seven of Wands in reverse? Show me the Seven of Wands in reverse. And the Ace of Cups. Somebody here is, there's this energy of not really fighting for a new start or fighting. So there's this energy of not really giving up. There's this energy of giving up in regards to having something new or having some sort of reconciliation or having something restart between the two of you. Okay. No, 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 no. You can't have that. You can't have that. You have to give that to me. Come on. No, no. Don't touch this. Okay. I understand, Mama. It's okay. Baby. It's okay. It's okay. So you got the Six of Wands here. Clarify the Six of Wands. What is the Six of Wands about? Show me the Six of Wands here. Why is that Six of Wands there? In the Hermit. So you're definitely at a distance from this person. Um, I think a part of you is definitely wanting their attention or you're wanting to have something to do with this person, but it's like you're completely withdrawn or you choose to be withdrawn. Why is that Nine of Swords there in reverse? Yeah, and the Two of Wands, but then you go from wanting to, it's kind of like a part of you is wanting to feed this attention, but it's like you, you withdrew, you, it's like you withdraw for this person, but at the same time you act like you're, maybe you could be one minute in your head about it, the next minute you're not in regards to being at a crossroads with this person. So it's like you could be overthinking it a lot, okay? <laughs> I think, I think, I feel, well, what is that two of wands? Show me the two of wands. Ah! Is there a baby? Um, show me the two of wands. And the sun in reverse. So I feel like you're really bummed out when it comes to this here. So it's like one minute, I feel like you're withdrawn towards this person, but at the same time you want anything to be successful. But at the same time, it's like you feel like you're at a crossroads when it comes to this person. And you you may be like on and off, maybe overthinking it one minute, the next minute you're not. And it's getting you really, it's making you really unhappy. So what are you be doing with the Leo? Your person has the Knight of Swords in reverse. <laughs> Your person has the Knight of Swords in reverse, so they're not chasing you right now at this time. Okay, if anything, it kind of they're not chasing you, but they do want to come out of this period of no communication. So it's like even though they're not rushing in to communicate with you, they still either want you to come back around to them or they want you to come back or they want to come back around to you. But what is this Knight of Swords here? Show me the Knight of Swords. What the hell? So this is someone who acts they act like they're not, this is someone who acts like they're not stuck when it comes to you. They act like they're not stuck when it comes to you. But then they go from acting like they're not stuck to wanting to come back around towards you. Why is that five of pentacles in reverse there? To heal the connection, what I tell you. So it's like they act like they're not stuck on this. They act like they're you know, it, it's not bothering them or they're not in their head about this. But in reality, but in reality, it's kind of like they do want to come back around or at least heal or they're hoping for you to come back around or hoping to get this back on track. Why is it all happening? The Page of Swords, that could be communication. So what is this Page of Swords about? What is that Page of Swords for? Yeah, it's all happening due to possible having a new start or a passionate new beginning this somebody here may be watching you from afar or they may be watching you from afar as well so how does Sagittarius see this person how does Sagittarius see this person what can you tell me how does Sagittarius see them you see them as someone who why is that page of cups in reverse you see this person as someone who's just basically keeping your them them this their distance with you 
If you see this person as someone who's not coming towards you with an offer, possibly could be apology, someone who's just basically very closed off, why is that page of cups in reverse? You see them as someone, you either have blocks communication or a little blocked in communication here with the eight of wands in reverse there. So how does this person see Sagittarius? What can you tell me? How does this person see Sagittarius? How do they see Sag? They see you. Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? Why the Knight of Cups in reverse? They see you as someone who's dropping them or is letting them go. What? They see you as someone who's dropping them or letting them go with that Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups in reverse there. And it's like you, even though, you, Sagittarius, even though you do want something to be successful with them, it's like you're choosing to be isolated from them or at a distance from them. And it's like you may be in your head about what to do or be at a crossroads about what to do with this person or about the situation. But they feel like you're letting them go or you're dropping this here or you're being very closed off, not offering anything right now. What are Sagittarius' next actions if not yet already? What what are Sagittarius's next actions if not yet already? The Page of Wands in reverse. Why the Page of Wands in reverse for? Not a, not nothing. I don't. It's their next actions here is to focus on themselves with that Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and not really reach out to communicate with that Page of Wands in reverse there. So it's like they're doing their own thing where they're trying to put this in the back burner, right? Even though in the back of their mind they're at a crossroads about what to do. I feel like they're still going to be focusing on their work, their business, their career, whatever it is that they do for themselves. And kind of like limit the, the communication with you. With them. So what are, um, what are... What are this person's next actions with Sagittarius? What are their next actions towards Sagittarius here? Five of Wands. Why the Five of Wands? The Queen of Cups. Why is the Five of Wands and the Queen of Cups there? King of Cups in reverse. I feel like this is someone who's just going... They feel like there's unfinished business between the two of you. But I feel like they're going to try really hard not to come towards you or not to express any emotions okay why is that five of wands there yeah I, I feel like they're gonna be trying their best not to be reaching out or not to come in with any type of offers here with that queen of cups if anything but at the same time it's like they feel like there's a lack of closure or nothing done between the two of you but they're still hoping and wishing for this what are Sagittarius' true intentions with this person? What are Sagittarius' true intentions? What are Sagittarius' true intentions? Why the justice in reverse? It's like your intentions is to leave things as is for now. I think your intentions is to leave things unsettled, alright? Things not balanced. I feel like maybe a part of you could be deceiving yourself here because I feel like in some way you still want something to deal with this person but at the same time it's like you're choosing to be withdrawn but you're it's like you're choosing to leave things as it is right now what is this person's intentions with Sagittarius the death card why the death card they want to change the dynamic between the two of you and come together. At least that's their intentions and they feel really heavy by this or they're really weighed down by this. Their intentions is to change things or have things transform or come together or see one another in regards to an emotional way. With that Three of Cups to the Death card there. This is someone who's acting like it's not bothering them but in reality that's not the case here. They truly do uh, wish for this. What's the possible outcome for now until the end of October for this situation? The Four of Pentacles, that could be holding back. The King of Swords, I do, um, and the Knight of Wands in reverse, why is this happening? The, it's coming together. Show me the Four of Pentacles, I see somebody here holding back. Why the King of Swords? 
I see somebody here returning back. I, I do see a return, or there's going to be some sort of comeback around or return because somebody here hasn't really fully passed it, moved past this. But at the same time, I'm, I'm, I'm not really getting any emotions that coming out of it. It's more of like a, like a, a cold and detached communication here. Show me the Knight of Wands in reverse. I do get communication, but it's very on and off. One minute you talk, the next minute you don't. There. So I just saw my daughter do something that was funny. Um. But yeah, I, I feel like the communication is going to happen, but it's not going to be a very steady communication. One minute you're talking to this, this person, the next minute you're not. I feel like before all this happens, it's kind of like you're going to be holding back. Somebody here is going to be holding back and going to cause some sort of a tower moment or some sort of shake up in their energy in regards to them holding back. I see a return, but nothing that really truly comes out of the situation. If anything, the communication starts to become very on and off. One minute you talk, the next minute you don't. Why the lovers? Why the nine of cups? There? Yeah, I don't see it. I don't feel like there's going to be something getting off the ground with this ace of pentacles in reverse. I got to be honest here, okay? You're dealing with an, a Sagittarius, another Sagittarius, a, a water sign, air sign, could be any sign in reality, okay? All right. So we have Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? Give me Aquarius. Give me Aquarius and the person that Aquarius is dealing with for October. What is going on with Aquarius and the person that Aquarius is dealing with for the month of October here? What's going on with Aquarius and the person that Aquarius is dealing with for October? The Emperor in reverse. You're going to be dealing with an Aries. Oh, man. There's somebody here that's at all. Why is this emperor in reverse for? Why the emperor's in reverse? The knight of wands. So right now, no one's budging when it comes to communicating. Nobody here is budging when it comes to communication, or at least trying to reach out, or at least that's the overall view here. You got the chariot, so that you may be at a distance from this person. What is this chariot about? Clarify the chariot card. Show me the chariot. You want a higher level of commitment or at least move forward with this person and <laughs> or have something be committed with this chariot and the high the high the um, higher fit here. So there's definitely somebody here you definitely feel you have a spiritual connection to or you feel tied to in a spiritual way or you're wanting to move forward. All right. What is this page of cups? Clarify that page of cups. Why the page of cups? But at the same time, it's like you want to come forward uh, to offer your emotions or to offer your cup. But at the same time, it's like I don't see you putting the work in to do that. Why? Why is the Eight of Pentacles there? I see you kind of choosing to be closed off when it comes to this person, though. We'll see what's going on here, okay? So, sh your person has the Six of Cups. What is the Six of Cups about? Show me the Six of Cups. Why the Six of Cups? Why is that Six of Cups there? So, even though this is someone who definitely thinks about you all the time, this is someone who constantly thinks about you, you are constantly on their mind, but they're not making a decision about reaching out, or they're not making a decision on to what to do with this, though. Um, show me the Temperance. Show me the Temperance. I feel like this is someone who wants things to be balanced between the two of you and it's like they just keep tabs on you or they watch you from afar. I feel like both of you guys on some levels want to come to one another or come together with each other but it's like either you're not putting the work in or they're not making a decision. And it's like they watch you from afar or they keep tabs on you, they watch what you do. They want to balance or fix things or they constantly have you on their mind but they're not making a decision in regards to doing that. Why is it all happening? Being emotionally closed off, not giving into the connection. Why is this King of Cups in reverse? Yeah, being closed off but having really... 
being closed off but not really moving on when it comes to this connection or somebody here hasn't moved on and I, in this case i feel both you guys haven't so how does aquarius see this person how does aquarius see this person what can you tell me how does aquarius see this person you see them as the two of pentacles why the two of pentacles show me the two of pentacles you see this person as someone who goes back and forth in, in regards to having something an actual stability or having a relationship relationship like you see this person as someone who may be going back and forth about the idea of having something of stability or having something of you know like a relationship how does this person see aquarius how does this person see aquarius they watch you okay they keep a, they watch you a lot how does this person see aquarius five of cups in reverse why the five of cups in reverse they're i feel like this is someone they see you as someone that they want to come back around to why is that five of cups there sarah this is someone they, they see you as someone that they want to reconcile with they want to come back around there could be some sort of regret or some sort of sadness or there's something here that happened between the two of you that that went down but it's like they definitely see you as someone that they want to come together with or they want to reconcile with or come out of the cold and it's like you see this person as someone who may be going back and forth about a relationship i don't know if this makes sense or something committed or something stable what actions will aquarius be taking towards this person if not yet already what actions will aquarius be taking towards this person if not yet already what can you tell me you get why why the queen of swords are reverse so your next actions is to one minute cut them off the next minute communicate with them what so one minute you're cutting this off the next minute you're talking to them one minute you're cutting them off the next minute you're talking to them why 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 is that queen of swords and queen, why is that there the sun card so i'm see, i'm seeing you cutting them off and then next thing you know communicating with them again what are this person's um uh, what are this person's next uh, actions towards aquarius what are their next actions towards aquarius here oh boy the seven of swords why the seven of swords why the seven of swords their next actions is to act why is the seven of swords there their next actions is to clear the air with you or have some sort of new beginning and communication or at least to restart this connection again somebody here could have been deceptive with that seven of swords there they may act like they're okay without you though whoever this is they may act like their next actions is they're fine without you or whatever the case may be here What are um, what are Aquarius's um, true intentions, though? What are Aquarius's true intentions? The High Priestess in Reverse, why the High Priestess in Reverse for, and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like your intentions is to have something stable or something long term, or get to the point of stability with this person here. Why the High Priestess in Reverse? Yeah, you want justice in regards to the con in, in regards to this connection. Wow, this is this is very up and down. Um what actions i mean what in, what are this person's intentions with aquarius what can you tell me the ten of pentacles wow why the ten of pentacles here and the hermit in reverse their intentions is to come back around to have a relationship with you too i don't know if both of you guys are holding a grudge with one another i don't know exactly what's going on but it looks like both of you guys want the same thing maybe there's just some sort of miscommunication I don't know you tell me so what's the possible outcome here the nine of swords i'm getting you guys in your heads about this why is all this happening clarify this five on this nine of swords i see you guys coming i see you guys stressing about this connection i have to be honest why is that king of swords there what is the six of wands i'm seeing you guys clearing the air all right or or getting to a point of like you guys are going to be feeding this attention with one another or clearing the air eventually here i see but i do but i feel you could be done with the leo 
But I feel like eventually there's going to be communication, or but not right off the bat expressing emotions. But I do feel like there's a connection here, a soulmate connection between the two of you. And it's like you guys are going to be very much in your head about it. But of but other but other than that, I do see you having I do see you guys clearing up the air and ha and having it be successful, or some some sort of emotions being expressed along like a little bit down the down the way. Wow, that was pretty good. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Libra, Earth sign, Virgo. It could be Capricorn. It could be Air sign. It could be any sign here. Okay. So what's next? All right. So we have Capricorn. What is going on with the zodiac sign of Capricorn? Before I start Capricorn, I just need one second. Just give me one moment, okay? Just give me one moment before I start Capricorn. Okay, you guys. I apologize for that. My daughter didn't go to school today. She was supposed to get her flu shot, but she came down with a little bit of a cold or wasn't feeling well, so I didn't want to take that chance, so I apologize for that. So anyway, what's going on with the zodiac sign of Capricorn? What is going on with Capricorn? Give me the zodiac sign of Capricorn and the person that Capricorn is dealing with. Stop doing that. What's going on with Capricorn and the person that Capricorn is dealing with, please? What can you tell me? What is going on with Capricorn and the person that Capricorn is dealing with for October? What is going on with Capricorn and the person that Capricorn is dealing with for the month of October? So, what's happening here? Page of Swords. That's the overall view. So there's definitely something here that you feel like the situation is really unfair, all right? Or there's a lack of balance or there's some sort of disconnection between the two of you or some sort of falling out. Your overall view is the Page of Swords, so that talks about communication, right? You could be talking about watching from afar as well. Clarify this Page of Swords and reverse. Why is that Page of Swords and reverse there? Yeah, but not really putting the work and energy into this. So I feel like for some of you, there's this energy of wanting to communicate, maybe watching online, but really not putting in the work or the energy into it. Your person has the Eight of Cups in reverse to the Page of Wands. So this is someone who is still very much emotionally attached to you, or they haven't moved on, or they're wanting to come back around to have some sort of communication with you or some possible new start. Show me the Justice in reverse. Okay. So I feel like there's a situation here where you are constantly thinking about this person or you're wanting to reunite or this is someone who's on your mind, but you feel like the situation is imbalanced between the two of you or it's something that's just not justified or unfair. But it's like they, they still, you are still thinking about them or are you still reminiscing about the past? What is this two of cups in reverse for? But, but at the same time, you're in this energy of kind of like maybe distancing yourself or trying to move past this or trying to move on with that Six of Swords there. Um, show me this Eight of Cups in reverse for the person that Capricorn is dealing with. Show me the Eight of Cups in reverse. 
I feel like they do want to come back around towards you. This is someone who's emotionally still attached to you. They want to come in with some sort of offer, or at least that's the energy they're bringing in here. What is this page of wands? What's the page of wands? Why is that page of wands there? I feel like this is someone who definitely wants... I keep getting the same thing, alright? Why is that... This is someone who wants to communicate with you, but maybe they could be afraid that they push you, you push them away. Or maybe they have a tendency to push you away for some of you. But they're, they're very passionate about you, okay? Why is it all happening? The cherry and reverse, so stagnation, right? Things not moving forward. Sarah, babe, what are you doing? A lack of forward movement here. There, things came to a halt. Show me the cherry in reverse and the nine of swords. So, I do feel like, why is it all happening? Is that you guys are basically at a distance from one another. There's lack of forward movement. You may be focusing on yourself. But I do get there's this energy of you guys stressing out or overthinking. How does Capricorn see this person? How does Capricorn see this person? What can you tell me? They see you, you see them as the Four of Cups. Why the Four of Cups? Why the Four of Cups? Why is that Four of Cups there? You see this person as someone who um, maybe acts like they're not interested or acts like they're not... You see them as someone who's very cold, very detached, or doesn't know how to express their feelings. I don't know, with that King of Swords in reverse there. Why is that Four of Cups? What's the Four of Cups? Do you see this, you see this person as someone who's ignoring you? Or maybe not making a decision when it comes to this? Someone who's acting kind of a bit of cold and, det and detached when it comes to this connection? Maybe you act like you're not interested, but in reality you are, I see. Maybe you come across like you're not really interested in them, but I, that's not the case. How does this person see Capricorn, please? How does this person see Capricorn? The Ten of Wands in reverse. Why the Ten of Wands in reverse? They see you as someone who's dropping them or letting them go. They see you as someone who's non-committal or problems with commitment. Somebody here has problems with commitment? What? So maybe you see this person as someone who may may not be interested in you or may not be interested in regards to coming together with you or you see them as someone who's ignoring you and then they see you as someone who maybe who is non-committal or maybe they're dropping you. What are Capricorn's next actions when it comes to this please? What can you tell me? What are Capricorn's next actions here? The Three of Swords in Reverse. Why the Three of Swords in Reverse? I feel like your next actions is to probably try to heal the connection with this person or try to mend things or communicate if not yet already or if you haven't done so yet, okay? I feel like your next actions is going to be trying to communicate with this person or at least try to mend things with them if not yet already. And for some of you, I'm getting you kind of like wanting to just sever ties with this. But other than that, I don't. I feel like you're going to end up trying to communicate with them or trying to make things work. That's what it's saying. I don't know. So what, what are this person's next actions with Capricorn? What are this person's next actions with Capricorn? The temperance in reverse. Why the temperance in reverse? The sun in reverse. I don't feel like there's going to be much... Um, I think this is someone who's just basically in this energy of manifesting, coming back around towards you, or manifesting, making this happen. I see that this is someone who's still very much in their feelings when it comes to you, or they haven't healed this connection. If anything, they're in the sad energy with the sun in reverse card. So I don't think they're going to be doing much, any, if anything. Why the temperance in reverse? The ace of cups, I feel like this is someone who still loves you, or they still have deep, deep feelings for you. What are Capricorn's uh, intentions when it comes to this person? What are Capricorn's in true intentions here? The Nine of Pentacles? Why the Nine of Pentacles? The High Priestess in reverse? Why is that? 
I think your intentions right now is to remain single, though. <sighs> I feel like your intentions is to be single or remain single. Or there's this energy here of you wanting to be single. Or you're you liking your independence here when it comes to that Nine of Pentacles there. I feel like you're wanting to be single. I asked why it's all happening. And it has to do with some sort of commitment here. I think that could be the problem. Someone here just non-committal or has problems with commitment. So, what are this person's next actions with Capricorn? What can you, actually, no, I did that already. What are this person's true intentions with Capricorn? What is this person's true intentions with Capricorn? Queen of Cups. I feel like they do. Their intentions is to. I feel like this is someone who wants to express their feelings or they want to express their emotions. Or at least their intentions is to have some form of expression when it comes to this. Because I feel like they, ge they, they genuinely do have feelings for you. Why is that Queen of Cups there? But they're in this energy of kind of like cutting this off. I feel like they want to ex their intentions is to express their feelings or their emotions. But at the same time, they're in this energy of cutting this off. Or they're ready to cut this off. I have cut this off already. I don't know. But for others, I'm getting you that this is getting that this is someone who's very much in their head about expressing their emotions, or they don't know if they should or not, or they could just be really stuck in regards to expressing. Or what's the possible outcome here? What can you tell me? What's the possible outcome? Three of Wands waiting. The Ace of Wands and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Why is all this happening here? Clarify the three of wands. Why is this ace of wands there? Why is the seven of swords in reverse? Why is the seven of swords in reverse? I'm getting that there's this energy of waiting. Somebody here goes to, from waiting to dropping this. So they go from waiting on something to letting this go. Waiting on something to letting this go. Why is that Ace of Wands there? I feel like there's a chance you guys can reconnect or come together, okay? Or have some sort of a new start between the two of you. But I'm getting like this energy of somebody here acting like they're not attached to this or they're either putting up a front. I feel like there's a chance you guys can come together or have some sort of reconciliation or make this, this come together. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse? I feel like there's going to be communication that's going to happen between the two of you at some point in time. Or some point of... Even if it's not a full-on relationship, I do see you guys coming together in some way. Or having some sort of passion or new start between the two of you. But I think it goes from, from levels. Like, you're holding on to this and you drop this, right? And then it's kind of like, eventually, I feel like somebody here is going to be coming in with a lot... With just communication. I feel like... There's going to be a time where you guys are going to be trying to come together or try to work things out or try to be more cordial with one another. So I do feel like at some point in time, I do see you guys coming together on some level here. Or the Knight of Pentacles. But just keep in mind that things may be very start and stop or one minute starts. One minute, one minute it starts, the next minute doesn't. Okay, keep in mind that it's like very on and off. Could be dealing with a, a Virgo or it could be any sign here. Last but not least, I got Pisces. <laughs> What's going on with the zodiac sign of Pisces? Give me Pisces and the person Pisces is dealing with. What is going on with Pisces and the person that Pisces is dealing with here? What is going on with Pisces and the person that Pisces is dealing with? Pisces, what's going on? So you got the hangman in reverse, dealing with another Pisces. Six of Wands in reverse. So there's a situation that you're not really feeding much attention to. I, at least so it's saying here. Whoever this is, they feel like there's unfinished business or a lack of closure. Um, why the hangman here? What is this hangman about? What is this hangman about? So somebody here is maybe looking at things from a different perspective or a different view. And I, I'm getting this energy of here, kind of like there's a lot of stagnancy when it comes to coming together or when it comes to having the end all be all or at least coming together with so 
with some sort of happiness or some sort of new beginning. There's a lot of stagnancy here. And I see you not really putting any attention or feeding this attention. Why is that six of wands in reverse? Why is that six of wands in reverse there? I feel like you're very stuck. Or you're in this energy of being stuck in your head about the thing, but about the fact that maybe a situation didn't go your way or a situation that failed. You're very much in your head about this person. Not feeling like, you know, not knowing what to do. But then another part of you is definitely wanting to put work into this or still work on this. Why the Eight of Pentacles? Why is the Eight of Pentacles there? You could have been dealing with the player, alright? There could have been someone here who at least have playboy, playgirl tendencies. And that could be the reason why, I don't know what this is trying to say, but this is somebody here who wants to come back around towards you or you want to come back around towards them. And they're feeling stuck in their head about the fact that things failed between the two of you. And it's kind of like they're in this energy of wanting to put the work in. But at the same time, they're a little bit of a player or they have playboy, playgirl tendencies. How? What is this Knight of Wands? What's this Knight of Wands about? Show me the Knight of Wands for the person that Pisces is dealing with. So whoever this is, this is someone who definitely wants to have an equal give and take or they definitely want this communication to start. Alright, so the Knight of Wands, there's a lot of passion that they have for you. They're wanting something equal or something of value, something that they could basically have some sort of stability on. And it's kind of like they feel like there's a lack of unfinished business between the two of you or nothing like a lack of closure or feeling like things are not done between the two of you yet what is this world in reverse for show me the world in reverse and it's kind of like they're losing hope and faith that they could get things started or it's like even though they feel like there's a lack of closure between the two of you they're still hope they're still losing they're losing hope and faith in it or they're not as optimistic about it Why it's all happening, it has to do with some sort of heartbreak here. Why is it three of swords? Yeah, somebody here is definitely hurt. Somebody here is ha hasn't healed. Their their emotions are all over the place. There was some sort of pain or heartbreak that, that happened between the two of you. Or somebody here. So, how does Pisces see this person? How does Pisces see this person? They, you see them as someone that you're not in communication with that they're yeah there's no communication or blocks in communication so you see this person as someone that right now you may not be in communication with but there's this energy of wanting to come back around or wanting to work things out i don't know i'm getting a player energy or playboy playgirl but it's like you see them as someone there that's not really coming in to communicate right now or things are pretty much flat in communication Sarah, baby, please stop. Sarah, mama. How does this person see um, Capricorn? Actually, ooh, someone could be dealing with the Capricorn. So how does this person see Pisces, please? How does this person see Pisces? The Six of Cups in reverse. Why the Six of Cups in reverse? They see you as someone who... I feel like they're still... They still see you as someone that they're still holding a bit of a grudge with, okay? Or they maybe see you as someone who causes problems or there was some sort of conflict between the two of you, all right? I feel like with that Six of Cups in reverse, they still see you as someone that they're still holding on to negative memories from the past, things that were said were done. Why is the Five of Wands there? They see you as someone who's who's secretive or, or keeps secrets here. They see you at some point in time as someone who didn't accept their offer or whatever the case may be. But it's like I feel like even though they want to talk or they feel like there's unfinished business or a part of them isn't as optimistic about this anymore, they still hold on to whatever negative shit that happened in the past. Um, what are Pisces' um, next actions towards this person if they haven't yet already? What are Pisces' next actions here? The Ace of Swords in reverse. Why the Ace of Swords in reverse for? And the Nine of Cups in reverse. So their next actions is to basically not really reach out. I feel like they're still stuck in this energy of the Eight of Swords. So it's like they don't know whether they should reach out or not. 
and it's kind of like they feel a little bit, you know, emotionally drained by it too with that Nine of Cups there and the Ace of Swords in reverse. For some of you, this is someone who lied to you or wasn't truthful. What actions will this person be taking towards Pisces? What can you tell me? What actions will this person be taking towards Pisces? The Ten of Wands in reverse. Why the Ten of Wands in reverse? And the Four of Pentacles. They're going to be trying to drop this or trying to avoid this. or I feel like they're going to be... and They're going to hold back. So I really don't see them taking action. I feel like they're holding on and they're holding back at the same time. Or they're trying to let this go but not having a really... Things not being so successful, if you know what I mean. So what are Pisces' true intentions when it comes to this person? What are Pisces' true intentions? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse? I don't feel like... I don't, their intentions is to kind of like not really fully move things forward. Maybe they come across as if they want to work things out, but it's like their intentions is to kind of like not really feed this so much. Maybe their intentions is to be friendly with you or be on the same page, but not really move things forward with that Wheel of Fortune in reverse there. What is this person's intentions with Pisces? What can you tell me? What are their intentions with Pisces? The magician? Why the magician card? And the page of swords. So I feel like their their intentions right now is just to be keeping watch on you or keep tabs on you or watch you from afar. Not really do much. They may be trying to manifest this in the way that they want it to happen. Uh, but I think their intentions is to watch you from afar and not really feed this much. Why the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? <laughs> I feel like this is someone's intentions. Um, Pisces, whoever this player is, their intentions is to come together with you, but really not make, really not move things forward. If you know what I mean. What's the possible outcome here? The Three of Wands in reverse. Somebody here ending truly. Uh, the Empress. Why? What's going on here? Why is all this happening? Whoever this is, they're very. This, they're this. They're not honest. Why is that three of wands in reverse? The chariot. I feel like the, somebody here is going to end up turning their back and moving forward or keeping their distance when it comes to this connection. Why the Empress card here? I feel like whoever this is, they, one minute they're wanting growth and expansion, the next minute they're unreliable. One minute they're wanting to make things happen, the next minute they're not feeding this. Why the Seven of Swords? And the Judgment in reverse. I feel like ultimately you're gonna be at, you're gonna be keeping this. I feel like somebody here is gonna be really stressed out due to this to this imbalance that's going on here. Okay, whoever this is, they're very sneaky or they're they're someone that not to be trusted with that seven of swords there. Yeah, whoever this is, they're very closed off. Why is the Ace of Pentacles? Why is it all happening? The Three of Cups. There could about pop. There could be a possible third party situation going on here. Why is the Seven of Swords? Yeah, I do feel like there's going to be some sort of return here, but at the same time, I wouldn't trust it with that Seven of Swords there, okay? Whoever this is, maybe this is someone who would like their cake and they want to eat it too. I'm not getting a very honest uh, person with this this uh, this energy, okay? So that you can be dealing with any sign, probably another Pisces, Gemini, Fire Sign, Earth, but that's what I got. Um, if, res if resonated, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize for all the interruptions and everything like that. Um, but uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.